Hey, welcome back to Hobbies with Jose. How are we doing, everybody? Diner Riser, what's up, my dude? How are we doing? Nerdy J, hello. Welcome, welcome. It has been a day. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Do I feel like I just built a table? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am toast today. Salvin, welcome. Thanks for joining. I, I still have some adjustments to do on my new hobby table that I built today. I'm loving it. It's it's a lot better quality than the previous IKEA table. Dominic Zan, what's up, my dude? Um, it definitely isn't particle board. That's for sure. Blue streak. Hey, what's up, dude? It's been a minute, man. Welcome. Thanks for joining. This one I got from Home Depot. Uh, regular price was two hundred. It was on sale for one fifty, but I got a discount for signing up for their for their. Uh, debit card credit card whatever it is their store card and so i got it for about 120 that was a pretty good price a pretty simple table pretty simple table i, I love the uh, i didn't realize that it was going to have um carbon fiber finish to the top really slick good stuff i love it my old silica had a carbon fiber dashboard on it so it's, it's reminiscent of that for me i love it very very sturdy stuff has a metal frame now the only the only hiccup the only hiccup, my IKEA table didn't have legs on it. Um, I have these. I have these two little IKEA drawers on each of the sides, and the table would, would rest on it. And in the middle, there was like this metal pipe for support. It was a nice setup, but um, you know, whenever I use my my clamp my clamp light, anywhere that I hook it up to, it would last maybe I don't know some months, and it would just start literally breaking away at the table itself if you watch any of my videos you can see it in the background <laughs> doing good honestly i uh, really want the g2 breakdown nice dude did you get the pre-order in hope you did fully pretty pretty well done it's gonna cost tonight occasion to hey no worries dude enjoy the show sit back and relax uh yeah I've, i'm feeling uh, pretty much spent now i think that if i wasn't going to the gym I would probably feel a lot worse right now, like just completely wiped. I can tell the difference of what I can do, and what I can't do now that I'm going to the gym. It was still it was still a lot of doing. The the instructions clearly say it's a two-man job. But when they say it's a two-man job, it usually means a it, it can it can mean it's a one-person job. It's gotta be very careful, you know? <laughs> it's also a two-man job for IKEA's uh Detolf uh display cases. It says it's a two-man job. I got I built three of them by myself you know so i got this done but it is it is a pretty heavy desk <laughs> and so once i had a build then to kind of disassemble the, the previous ikea one and move it out of the way and move this one shim it over uh it, it, it took some doing now now the hiccup is that because of the metal frame the ikea drawers do fit like in between the frame but now the frame itself blocks my top drawer from opening so what i did is i'm is i'm is i'm resting the metal frame like on top of the drawers so the legs of the table aren't even really touching the ground they're like this much off the ground it's sitting on top of the, the their drawers on the sides and i can open them but because of that there's like a curvature on the end of the metal frame i have to move the drawers a little bit more inward so i can open them which means it leaves me with less room like in the middle um it, it's 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 fine though I don't know if, if I can maybe make some adjustments. I might, I may have to get some new drawers that will better suit uh, this table. Maybe that aren't as tall. I was even thinking about just removing the the legs all all entirely and using just the top. The top is is in two halves though, so you really do need that metal frame. Otherwise, it's kind of useless. Um, but but the metal frame itself has the curvature going on on the side, um, which I can't remove. It's like welded in place. So other than that, though, the table is great. Table is great. I did have a strip of light, an LED light that ran out along behind my IKEA table. I don't know if anybody really noticed. It's it's super subtle. Like when I do the outside the box videos, and when I do the beauty shots of whatever custom that I'm I'm, I'm working on, on the on the back on the back you can see a little light um, that comes across from behind the table. It's more noticeable on the outside the box videos, um, but um. I, I had to buy this double-sided like Velcro uh, sticky tape whatever to actually ad adhere it. So I had to remove that 
and I removed the, the Velcro off of the uh, the LED strip and it left all of the residue. I need to, I'm going to probably clean it really good before I try to reassemble, reattach it to the, the, the new table, but that's going to be for another day because I, I was like completely done working on it after that. Man, I was like so spent. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, waiting to get it. Um, oh, out to stores. Better chance of, really? Blue Streak, you have a better chance of finding this stuff at retail, dude? Wow, that's kind of the opposite of what I hear. Like for me, I hardly ever go retail shopping to begin with, but I never find anything really like noteworthy at retail. <coughs> I did go Friday to Target just to see what they had. They did have the Party Wallop uh, Transformers TMNT crossover figure. 50 bucks though, man, that's kind of pricey. Seems like a good figure, but man, you're paying like a like a licensing tax to <laughs> to get pick them up. Supposed to be mainline, yeah. Sometimes though, even when they're mainline, dude, just be careful. It, it can be hard to find, you know. It can be hard to find. Good luck to you though. Watching a combination of Super Sentai, Deca Ranger, Cayman Rider, Kuga, Kuga. Thank you for the pronunciation, guy. Appreciate that. Both from Shot Factory uh, that I got last year. Switching each Discord as I get alternating between the series. Nice. I've actually still been watching uh, One Piece myself. Ever since the Netflix live action show came out, I really enjoyed the Netflix show. I had never seen One Piece before. I don't really know what it was about. I was surprised it was about pirates, you know? Um, but the show was great. I'm like, oh, well, this is really fun. And I've been watching the show. It's obviously super expanded. Uh, the Netflix show kind of like really contracts a lot of the storylines. But I've been really enjoying it. I'm like I'm on episode uh, 350 something or whatever. There's like over a thousand episodes. So it's like I'll, I'll watch it when I'm like, you know, not really doing much. But I'm excited for season two of the show because I've already seen the episodes for it. So I kind of have an idea what to expect. Like they mentioned what islands are going to be heading up. What characters we can expect. No spoilers if anybody hasn't seen it. I, I enjoy One Piece. I enjoy One Piece. Uh, watch it as well but couldn't last pa uh, past the third season. Oh, when you're watching One Piece, really? I thought it was fun. One show I've never watched as well is uh, Dragon Ball. I know Dragon Ball goes way back as well. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could ever attempt to watch Dragon Ball. I don't know. Today, though, there's only three things I want to do. Only three things I want to do. Number one, have some cheesy snacks. Some cheesy, meaty cracker snacks. Ooh! I'm looking forward to those. Number two. Oh, mm, mm. we're going to be enjoying a bottle of wine tonight. Yeah, baby. Let's get this open here. Come on. This is a uh, barefoot Cabernet Sauvignon. Rich and balanced. Have I had this one before? I think I have. I think I've had this one before. Um, I do usually prefer red wines. No, white wines. White wines. They tend to be a little bit sweeter. Uh, this one. I hope it's good. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, that's good. All right. Ooh, that smells kind of strong. Mm. I just had dinner, so I'm good. Had some nice tuna tostadas. No burritos for me, sadly. And I wanted something quick and easy. Oh, I love me some tuna, especially like in hot weather. It's not as hot anymore, though, thankfully. But after the, after the good workout that I had, tuna tostadas was freaking perfect. Mm, cheers, if you're of age. Mm. This is not my favorite wine. Oh. Oh, yo, yo, yo. But you know what? It's good. I've got this little thing. I don't know if anybody's ever seen this. It's a, it's a metal rod that you keep in the freezer. And then you place this inside of the, the, the wine bottle. And it's supposed to help, I don't know, keep it nice and chill. And it's got a little, its own pouring mechanism thing here on top. So I'll keep it on here. We'll see if it works. Oh! Uh, here are my friends talking about how they still see Armada Starscream. Oh, actually, did I see Armada Starscream? 
I think I saw Armada Star Armada Star Scream when I went to Target uh, Friday. I was thinking about should I pick this up? I don't have Armada Star Scream. No, I didn't pick it up. Uh, and we're on to, to Canada. I've never seen him yet. One of the first people to get a G2 uh, Shadow Strip. G2 Drag Strip. Interesting. I know that in uh, Canada, like the release schedule, it's 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 wonky as heck, right? Depending on where you're located. I hear Canada's not, not that great. One eat, two game, three sleep. Oh, yeah. Number three. We're going to play some Zelda. <laughs> I totally forgot. Those are the three things I want to do today. <laughs> We're going to keep doing the main quest. Are we beating the game today? I don't know. I've actually been playing a little bit off stream. I've been doing a couple more shrines. I've got a couple of more hearts. Um, I was going to do some cooking, but I didn't get a chance to. Maybe we'll do that today. We'll, we'll, we'll get some cooking done real quick. And we'll keep going on the main story. Hmm. And repeat, the Gamer Mantra, hell yeah. Two of those burritos did me in. What what was in the burritos, Dom? I, I thought I saw some meat stuff, uh, meat and beans maybe. I don't know if you had like cheese in them. They look really good, dude. They look really good. Um, I have enough, I made enough tuna. I'll probably have some more tomorrow myself. But I, I like to make like a whole pot of like refried beans for like the week. So I'll probably have some burritos like throughout the week. I did buy some more avocados, although they're not quite ripe just yet, but I like, I like to have them sit here for a little bit. Uh, they should be go within the next few days. I, 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 I my, my go-to is refried beans, chicken, shredded cheese, tapatio hot sauce, uh, sour cream, and avocados if I have some. The only upside up to Canada is the uh, the health care. Hey, that, that is a big upside though, dude. I've been screwed by the U.S. healthcare system, sadly. As many people have. Big D's! Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good. Although I am trying to not hit up fast food anymore. I, uh, oh man, nobody has fries like McDonald's. Mm. Enjoy it, Seven. What are you getting, though? What are you getting? Tell me. You getting some uh, chicken nuggies? Big Mac? Quarter Pounder? What's the, what's the go-to meal? Uh, hamburger. Oh, like ground beef. Ground beef. Onion. Orange bell peppers. Interesting. Okay. Hatch green chilies. Refried beans. Mild cheddar. Nice. Nice. When I make my tostadas, um, I have the the refried beans. The uh, the, the ground beef. I use green uh, bell peppers. And some just seasoning, like seasoned salt. Super simple. Oh, and the shredded cheese, the tapatio, sour cream, and whatnot. I'm basically switching out the tostada for like the, the, the flour tortilla for a tostada, you know, it's the same thing, same thing. That, that sounds excellent though, dude. Hope that when Hasbro comes out with the new protect the bots, is that confirmed? Is that confirmed? Is that a thing? I thought the confirmed things were devastator. Bruticus and the aerial bots. I love them all though, uh, that they finally come out with the G2 prototype colors. That they've been doing with Menasaur. I think there's a good chance. I think there is a good chance. Um, I don't know how good of an organized release it'll be. I think it'll be spread out, if anything. You know. My mind says yes. Large double quarter pounder meal got myself. Yeah, me too. For the longest time, I would get double quarter pounder. Or just a regular quarter pounder with cheese. But I would have them add lettuce and Big Mac sauce. Because you, you get like a much meatier Big Mac when you add that. It's so good. That's a... That's a secret go-to tip for me. You're welcome. You're welcome. I also always get no salt on my fries. Only at McDonald's. They put a bunch of salt on their fries. Their fries are excellent without salt. And if you put the ever-loving, what everybody loves, ketchup, onto the, fr onto the fries, they're perfect. They're perfect. That's another secret tip of mine. You're welcome. You're welcome. Double quarter pounder. Large combo. Ten nuggies. Plain cheeseburger. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Just a want, huh? Miss doing it for the Combiner Wars edition. Oh, they didn't do it for Combiner Wars? I wasn't collecting back in Combiner Wars. I started, I restarted my Transformers collection journey around Siege, tail end of Siege, if I remember correctly. Okay. All right. Look at all these damn shrines. We even opened up a bit of the bottom. I have a lot of um, light locations marked off. Oh, we do have this. I found another X. Shall we go for it? 
the sad thing is I don't have this light location opened up. That would be super, super convenient. And so the next logical location ah, would have to be this one. It would have to be this one. You know what, though? How about... Uh, let, let, let's go for this X real quick. Um, let's take a dive on a chasm and see how far we can float over there. How about we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go over here. All right. Oh, that's when you restarted too, Dino? Uh, towards the beginning of Siege. Ah, I got it. Yeah, there were some... There were a couple of back figures of Siege that I had to... Not pay a super ridiculous price. I remember I had to get Astro Train off of eBay. Shockwave. He was he was a big one. Um, what other ones? What other ones? There weren't a whole lot because a lot of the ones that were in seeds that, that they remolded for the Earthrise. I ended up going for the Earth modes instead. You know. I think some of the more expensive ones that I had to get myself off of eBay were Netflix Bumblebee and Netflix Soundwave. I don't remember what I paid for them, but they were a little bit pricey. A little bit pricey, but I, I am glad that, that I got him. I'm still hoping for a new mold for for shock, for for a Soundwave though. He's got quite a bit of kibble. Got quite a bit of kibble on that guy. I barely eat uh, through the day because I want to. No health issues. Weekly McDonald's dinner is a heavy meal. You hardly eat through the day. Like, do you have breakfast at all? I I'm definitely not the kind kind of person that I don't have like three meals a day usually. I'll have breakfast and I'll have dinner. Or I'll have lunch and dinner. Or I'll have breakfast and lunch. I usually don't go all three. Um, but now, now that I'm going to the gym, I'll have an oatmeal for breakfast during the week. I'll have a salad for lunch at the office at work. And then I'll have like a good dinner after the gym. Burritos. Yeah, that, that, that's my, <laughs> that is my meal um, schedule nowadays. But on the weekends, like I had, I had dinner. I had my, my pancakes... I had a breakfast sausage, scrambled eggs, and then I just had tuna before. That's going to be it for me today. I'm having snacks right now, but I'm not going to have a dinner after the stream. Sometimes I will if I don't have a dinner beforehand. I don't want to eat so late, though. It's not good for you. So I want to try and avoid that. Did have a lot of Combiner Wars figures. Wasn't actually collecting. Gotcha. First figure I ever got. Uh, Maybe start collecting. Siege Flywheels. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Siege Flywheels. Oh, I definitely never didn't get him. Interesting. Started my journey during G G2. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day, day, huh? My first Transformer, uh, call my own. Chrome Yellow Version B. Hooked ever since. Nice. Oh, you go way back. I I've mentioned which one was... I don't exactly remember what my very first one was. It was either the Monster Bot... Uh, double cross the the two headed dragon. It was either him or an, or one of the Insecticons. I forgot which one. One of those two. Which one came out first? Was it the Insecticons that came out first, or the Monster Bots? I'm thinking maybe the Insecticons because huh? they were kind of prominent in the G1 cartoon. It may have been an Insecticon that I got first. Siege small breakfast sandwich. Oh wait, I read that as Siege. Wait, Siege sold breakfast sandwiches. What? Oh, no, single. Got it. Okay, nice. That sounds pretty good. Rarely eat lunch. Okay. Yeah, this is like a late lunch, early dinner kind of a thing. Technically, uh, I've been getting Transformers toys since ROTF. Uh, I always keep thinking Rise of the what now? Revenge of the Fallen. Brain didn't gain collecting consciousness until Sage got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. We are heading. We're heading over here. Um, oh, it's kind of drizzling, meaning I can't really, can't really do much mountain climbing here. Oh, and I can't use my, um, my flying boost power, because I'm inside of a town. I don't need to pick up anything here. There was a side quest here about following a, a pack of chickens that I never did. You have to be at the right place at the right time. Alright, let's go around here if I can. K 
Can I? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Chasm is right up ahead. Oh, I can see it from here. There we go. Oh, it's raining now. It's raining now, buddy. We got a little bit of a stutter here on this old switch. Whenever we're in, like, in like a forest area, it usually happens, even on the Breath of the Wild game. All right. Head over here. Okay. So, let's have a game plan. Let me save my game first. We'll do cooking after we get the axe. I don't need to 10 a.m. At the earliest, okay. Have a breakfast of cereal and milk. Uh, snack till around 4 p.m. That's it for the day. Drink water only after. Okay. I like. I do have cereal. I hardly ever have cereal myself, though. My go-to cereal is a honey bunches of oats. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. I'm also a big fan of Captain Crunch. <laughs> I just finished my box of Captain Crunch. Uh, I should probably grab some more. <laughs> okay. All seven and six things came out. 85. 87. Oh, wow. Two years difference. Okay. So I think I think it was definitely um, an Insecticon. And I'm trying to remember the name. It was the one that was a Grasshopper. Was it the Grasshopper one? It's the one that has the wings on the shoulders. And that kind of... No, wait. No, no, no. I'm lying. I'm lying. No. It's the one that has the, uh, the antenna, the curved antenna. And you fold it upward and it covers up the face. Which one is that? Which one is it? Oh! Studio Series DevCon. When? <laughs> Wait, did they not announce that? Is DevCon not a thing? Shrapnel. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. All right, we're going to be heading south, southwest. We have to go around this corner. And this is some kind of an abandoned mine over here. Chop shop? Chop shop? Chop shop? And is that an Insecticon name? Defcon would be a commander, so no. Wait. I thought Defcon was, was announced. Was he not? Am I tripping? South, southwest. Ah, there's a bunch of barriers. We might not make it all the way. We'll see. All right, here we go. I hate that I'm going to be dropping in from the wrong direction. Um, oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's right. I am. Yeah. Thank you, Dino. All right, buddy. Um, here we go. Whoa. We are on our way. Whoa, actually, what's this? Can we get up here? Yes, we can. Oh, that's a good little spot to kind of regain our stamina. There we go. And we don't lose anything. Let's have a look-see here. Got some green smoke. I think I've been there already. Yeah, I think I've been there. Okay. Primarily black or brown. Blackish shrapnel. Big big brown deluxe chop. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like those secondary insect cards. It was one of the first. It was black and purple and silver. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't chop shop. It wasn't chop shop. Live action Defcon, my white whale figure. What did it transform into? Refresh my memory. Defcon. Defcon. Gonna save again. Good spot. Found a good little spot. Missile truck. Ah, so is a Decepticon? We're gonna be heading in that direction. And away we go. Oakley dokley. Whew. 
wide open over here. Yeah, we got to go all the way around here. We got to go all the way around here. Oh, we're not going to get that far, are we? A little bit more? Right there. Hmm. Darker the moon for like 12 seconds. He's one of those figures, huh? One of those characters. That we got so much, so much intricate knowledge of their, of their personality. And they left us too soon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. All right, we're gonna make a bit of a left in a more south or southern distance. We're already gonna hit ground here. We're done. We're done. Hey, what's this? Oh, that's the one we haven't gotten to yet. Let's mark it. Yeah, we can get rid of this one here. Delete it. We're gonna open that one up too. Might as well. We have some company here. Who is this? Oh, he's one of the Cyclops dudes. Um, I've taken your Black Hinox. Keep wanting to say Rhinox. Uh, concept picture from the movie. Uh, let's see. What's going to be first? Turkey? Hmm. wheels let's get up there there we go still over there what's everyone's thoughts on uh, missing links g1rc oh yeah yeah i was surprised i was very surprised I don't think I'm going to be picking up any um, missing link figures anytime soon, though. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they exist. A little bit pricey, I think, for me, though. I'm definitely much going to be much more into the Legacy uh, G1 Optimus Prime. I hope they keep making more of those, to be honest with you. That'd be cool. Uh, would it be wrong to put her with my G1 collection? I don't think that'd be wrong at, long, at, at, at all. That's where she belongs, I think. My collection. I can do what I want. 100%. I'm also a toy reviewer. Would it make sense? Yeah, it makes total sense. Makes total sense. Not really into the missing link line. I thought it was a pretty good concept. Uh, we also saw Sunstreaker too, right? Uh, it feels like they're going to keep making them. And they look cool. They look cool. What's shown as a Japan prototype along with the missing link Sunstreaker? Oh, yeah, yeah. I missed your chat there, Nerdy. You're right. Yeah. I hope they keep making more of the legacy version of the G1 Optimus. I kind of dig that a little bit more. Uh, what do we have as far as... Uh, let's use this one here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we have a lot of goop coming up ahead here. The terrain gets a little bit deep. This is even deeper, though, so I think we're fine. I think I want to try to get the light location first, if possible. It is kind of higher up, though. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. That's cool. I can, I can work with this. Whoa. Speaking of which. There we go. Yeah, buddy. No? Oh, shoot. Are we too far? Oh. Damn, okay. Doing it the old-fashioned way. Not a problem. Okay. There it is. Okay. All right. Well. Wait, can we go higher? I don't think so. We'll get over here instead. Damn, it's going to be a challenge. Sounds good, Seven. Enjoy it. Might be the only one I get, uh, unless they do the Fabled Unicorn. That's a possibility, too, I guess. They do give them electronics. Help keep the price down as well. Under 300. Who knows, man? It's, it's definitely a look, huh? It's definitely a look. Oh God. <laughs> we gotta go, baby. Oh my god. As long as I can stand up, we're good. Okay. All right. We are so close. I don't think there's anywhere up there that I can stand up, though. Wait, am I going away from it now? Shit, I am. I'm losing my bearings here. How could it be way up there? Nothing. Okay, now I'm confused. All right, let me let me keep going over here. Under the same aesthetic as Ironhide, Ratchet RC. Go if you're looking Transformers. Oh, you mean like like G1 wise? I mean it is. It is definitely directly based off of the concept design that we've seen for RC, right? This one's higher. How did I totally lose the location? Oh, shit. Oh, man. No, that's not going to work. 
This one's gonna be tough. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shit. Don't fall down, dude. Don't fall down. Don't fall down! Damn it. There is no way up there, huh? No, that is it, dude. I'm confused. Hmm. G1. Missing link, yep. I am super confused right now. We're hitting the ceiling here, dude. Why can't I see it then, huh? I think I see the platform where it's on. So it's a... Sp what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Get him, guys. Get him, guys. Damn. think we're gonna see I uh, see how there's something casting a shadow that's gotta be where the light is I need to get up there from the side then like run across here all right we're not we're not gonna be doing that um, we're gonna take a glide over to the X which is right along here Setting my sights on the uh, T-Spark Leo Convoy. Love what they did with the Leo mode. Making more anime accurate. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they changed the whole um, head sculpt, right? Gave him the more cartoonified look. Yeah. I think it's been pretty popular. Fancy to have... Um, preferred that one from the looks like... From the looks of it. Alright. Let's head back over here. Can like can I get up there? Can I just get up there? Sure I can. Good, 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 good. Just keep going straight, I guess. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Perfect. Nothing. What? What now? Cristiano Nelson's flake? What? Down here. It's gonna be down here. I am. I am definitely confused. I am on the highest part. Huh? Oh, I gotta come down from over here then. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Whoa. Right here. Whoa. 
Got some goo on here. Got that. No? How about we drop this one, huh? Yeah. Whoa. How about we drop that one, huh? Damn it! There we go. Sure. Alright, what do we have here, huh? Something good. Something good. Whoa! Tunic of a Hero. Is that the original Legend of Zelda tunic? Uh, legend has it, this armor was once cherished by a hero from ancient times. Its design is rather simple, but it's such a traditional look. Nice. Where is it paired with the... I don't have anything else for it. Look at that. That's got to be the original one. That's got to be the original one. Okay. Wait, which one did I have? This one, huh? Okay. Well, that was cool. We got it. Um, bummed out I couldn't get the uh, light source, though. Huh. Interesting. That's going to be a tricky one to get, I, I, I think. Wow, okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Ocarina of Time vest? Well, that's the one from Ocarina of Time. Well, from the Adult Link. Adult Link. Hmm. Um, Skyward Sword. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave that marker. We need to cook. Let's do some cooking. Oh, pawing the phone. Wanted to lick your hand. Ah. No, that wasn't inappropriate. Just, I was just rather confused. <laughs> no. No, Shadow's okay. Hmm. Okay. Where can we cook? There's got to be a open flame here somewhere. Right? I may have to go to um, a stable. To cook if I can't find one. I should buy this. Yeah. I should buy this. Come on, people. What happened here? Oh, no. Gentle beige coat. His unique gray dappling, too. 
high places? That's it's pretty vague, old man. I'm not even really reading this. Definitely can't read that. No fire up here. Huh. I should probably just go to a stable. Let me try under here. There we go. This is it. Alright, what are we gonna make? Shit. <clears throat> okay. Alright, let's go for the big ones. No. No bonuses yet. Whoops. I guess bonuses don't exist anymore? Oh, come on. There's like a tiny bit of lag on the controllers, so... Gotta time this. Uh, give me something good, man. Yep, maybe both of those. No, 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 no. Ooh, look at that. That's a good one. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. That's it for that. Dodge out of chatting, however, I'll be watching you tonight's stream. Good luck. Hey, thank you so much, dude. Hope you enjoyed, huh? Mm. Ah. Well, this stuff that I don't have any recipes for, I, I guess I'm just still going to cook it. Whoa! <laughs> we got a bonus! <laughs> Let's just hold one. Hey, 
Wait, not bad, huh? Yeah, it's good stuff. Nice. Just hold one. Nice. Okay, any other? Uh, not a big veggies guy. Yeah, you gotta mix this with other stuff. Funny how you can't just cook eggs by themselves. Okay. I think we're good. I'll be looking. Uh, could be better. No recipes there. Ha! Ha! Bananas? Damn, man. Eh? Can make some good stuff with bananas. Oh wow! Noble pursuit, eh? That one's good. Noble pursuit. Can we make another one? Nice. Whoops. Oh, we're missing some stuff. Shit. Oh, we can do this one. Better than nothing. Okay. A oh, fucking A, I messed up. I messed up. I think I'm still right. I think I'm still good, right? Yeah, hey, not bad. Oh, come on, Link. Last one. Um, anything here? No. I need to get some banana recipes. Three. Three. Let's do apples. Got plenty of these. Oh, we're fully stocked then, huh? Shit. You know what? I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Slip resistance? Do I really need that? That's terrible. Yep, eat it anyways. I'd rather have some more food. I don't need to glow. Um, flame. No, I have my flame guard clothing for that. That I could probably save. Yeah, fully recover? That's the big mama one, yeah. Cold resistance, don't really need that. Speed boost, I like having. That does come in handy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six more meals that I can make. Yeah, we're going to be fully stocked here. Oops. I 
think that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. Okay. So, oh shoot, you know what? I never really found out what the next part of the main quest pertained. It was kind of confusing. Ah, crap. Uh, oh, Hyrule Castle remains in the I need to look this up. Ah, uh, oh, the fifth sage. Yeah, that's the one. Let me check in on it. Because I really don't have any clue here. We could only start this after we found the, um, completed the regional phenomena, which we've done. Uh, and found Zelda and Crisis in Hyrule Castle, yep. Uh, note that this quest line involves a lot of exploration, so you'll need a good chunk of materials. We recommend having the following. Lots of bright bloom. Light up the depths, we have that. Non-metal weapons. You can see using thunderstorms. Okay. Shock resistance. Oh, crap. Didn't we get rid of that drink? Rubber armor or food elixirs. The first stage of Find the Fifth Sage is the Secret of the Ring Ruins. That sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Quest. Okay. Uh, when you talk to Prosh, you'll mention the ruins from the Age of Legends as a hint of where to go next, referring to the ring ruins outside of Kakariko Village. Okay. Uh, you may have run into them already. Trip through history quest. Uh, what? Shit. Okay, so that's a side quest. Our Secret of the Ring Runes walkthrough will guide you through how to complete the quest. Move on to the next phase. Okay. Secret of the Ring Ruins. I think I may have done that. Okay. No, not that secret. Secrets within. That's not it. Seeking. Oh, shit. Then it's memories. So I haven't even started that side quest. Shit. <clears throat> okay. So let's check on that one. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've done that. Investigating the ring ruins of Kakariko Village is part of the fifth. In order to find this first part of the fun quest. Okay. Charged armor set is what you get for completing that.
charged armor set. Bro. Bro, I never did that? How to start? Head to Kakara Village. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. That was over here? Yeah. Okay. Camera function added to your Pura pad. We have all that. They don't have the camera ready. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I did the trip through history quest, which ties into the ruins. Whoa! Who's this? Nadra. Where is she going? Oh, it must be through the chasm. Ah, uh, sounds enticing. <coughs> I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. Okay, when you're ready to start Secret of the Ring Ruins, you'll need to talk to Tauro and Paya, who are standing and gawking at the ruins in the village under the large floating ring ruin in the sky. Okay. So... Shit. Who's this? Peep. Okay, great. I picked them up. Ah, over here then. Peep. Right? That's the large ring ruin right there. Yes. Wow, I just never did this then, huh? Interesting. Hey, Tetsu Geek, what up, bro? How we doing, man? Hope you're having a good weekend. Save, 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 save. Okay, here we go. See, if I ha if I don't look up a guide, how the hell am I supposed to go to no to go come back here and just do this stuff, man? Uh. All right, here we go. This should start it. Yep, there it is. Yeah. Uh, the ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on all of the special ruins and invite the survey team. Oh, shit. The fuck? Oh. Hey, bro. Thank you so much, man. With Prime. How fitting. Optimus Prime. Subscribing with Prime here. 18 months. Woo, baby. That's almost like a year and a half, huh? That is a year and a half. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Hmm. Yeah. I've had too much wine tonight.
Natalia. Is she in the first game? I kind of feel like she might have been. Chief of Kakariko Village. Mm. We're just meeting her now, huh? Overjoyed that you both, uh, both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Are we safe? Ba -ba 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 huh? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval is an imposter born of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda is still missing? What? Are you serious, Master Link? It's certainly hard to believe. Yet I find it impossible that you would make up such a thing. Hmm. Mm. Come to think of it, the Princess Zelda who came to Kakariko Village. She ordered us not to let anyone go near the floating ring ruin. No matter what. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect, at least. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Taro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredible deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's truly an incredibly talented individual. Oh my god! Toto, Zonai survey team leader, and Jim Rat. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we're forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with a writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. Until now, I'd given up on investigating the ruin, believing Princess Zelda's orders were for, for, the, were for the best. Blah, 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 blah. But if that princess was an imposter, that changes everything. Ooh. Princess Zelda's imposter, the Demon King Zunderling, forbade anyone from investigating the floating ring ruin. That must mean that doing so would pose a threat to the Demon King. Uh. If that is the case, we must survey that floating ring ruin as soon as possible. Uh. Right you are, Mr. Taro. There's no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once. Mm. Knowledge is tugging on the line. What? Time to reel in some results. All right, dude. <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> your your Luralin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Taro. You must really be pleased. Oh, Jesus. Ah. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. I'll do it. Oh. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. Oh. This episode of Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Woo. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a st st stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage those these precious ruins. Oh. oh, pardon me. I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Five minutes later. Secret of the Ring Ruins. Oh, that's it? Okay. Paya! 
Aha. Uh -huh. That's the one. Okay. After you told Pai and Tower about the false princess Zelda, they began exploring the ring ruin previously forbidden by the imposter. They believe there is a stone slab carved with Zonai writing inside. Entering the site and investigating the slab will assist their research. Here we go, baby. Here we go. The first, let's do an uppity up. Uppity up. Hey, Gary, what's up, dude? Just arrived after coming back. Purple found the Oh, nice. Nice. What you have for dinner? Hope it was good. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. All right. There we go. Wait, what? Chickens! I'm gonna take a picture of you. Oh, wait, I already did. Never mind. Cuckoos! Hmm. There's a side quest for them. Here we go. Right there, baby. Ooh, ooh here we go. Looking at the chickens after I just. Ooh! <laughs> Were you still hungry? <laughs> I had some tuna myself. Which was delicious. And I'm having some uh, some some turkey cheesy cracker snacks. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So now I take that picture back. Oh, come on, game. Let's see if this works. Whoops. Nope. Oh, shit. Yoink. <laughs> Here you go. Huh? It looked like you disappeared into the ring. But that can't be right. Ah, forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. What about this image? What's this you've got? Huh? Could it could it really be? Paya! Callip! Look at this! No. Could this be? The interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow! The stone slab is so clearly visible! Ah. There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as, as, as well. Sorry, reading is hard. Just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Uh. Right. Let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise. Zelda. Solemnly signed. Monero. Sage of... Hide the key. Southeast. Entrust. Future. Wish. Defeat. Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before the Southwest, but Monero seems to be someone's name. Monero, do we know a Monero? Yeah. Hmm. Look at the context of Monero. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. <clears throat> it also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> The inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
You're right. Paya knows her stuff. This should read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Oh, thank goodness I'm proving useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Southeast, Southeast, okay. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. Uh -huh. Ahem! Where were we? Something about a dragon land to the Southeast? Mm hmm, how familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Faron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins fallen from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Caleb, great catch! The Zonai Ruins of Farron. There's a good chance that exactly what this is pointing us at. That's our Caleb. Fantastic work. What did you just say? What did you say to me? <laughs> that this inscription is pointing us toward Farron's Zonai ruins? Oh. No, not that. The next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? <laughs> ah, fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm. Yes. Caleb, what fantastic work he said. Huh. Fantastic. Me. Anywho, oh. <laughs> uh, Link, when we put together the script on this stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the sage Mineru, the demon king, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. <laughs> he wants to relish in it. That's what he wants to do. Uh, we should have taken a picture. We should have taken a video of it. <laughs> Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help. Truly. Now, we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Callop, will you join me? Oh, of course I, I would be um, a fantastic addition to the team. Oh, Jesus, dude. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Farron. First, we head southwest. Ba -da -da, da -da -da. We'll establish a base in the Popla foothills at the Skyview Tower of the Ruins. By the ruins. You know what I mean. Yeah. Wait, what? Huh? In search of new discoveries. <laughs> we make for Farron. This guy. This guy. Oof. <sighs> they left. Just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. And that's the last time we ever saw them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I'm kidding. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Taro and Caleb. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery, mystery of the Rio Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. Very cool, very cool. We have a marker, right? Yes? Wait, that's not exactly southeast. Game. Uh, all right, don't, don't question the marker. Uh, you deciphered the Zonai text carved in the stone slab inside the ring ruin. Tauro and his colleague are followed, are following a lead to the Zonai ruins in Balmy Farron in the southeast. The gathering in the Skyview Tower near the ruins. Okay, all right. So let's head over there. Boom. Nice. The game's afoot. Yeah. Oh wait. Let's grab some more of this. Is it still chilly? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 
Okay. All right. Don't make a mess. Oh, that pours very nicely. Damn. That is a magical pour right there. Must go faster. Must go faster. I don't dare tip it over anymore. And this, ah, oh, fuck it. Do it. Okay, we still have enough for a third glass. I shall, I shall savor the rest. Oh, it does feel chilly. Put the cap back on that. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, salute. Not bad. Oh my god, oh yeah. Oof. That's a pretty strong wine, I think. Oh, there is a star fragment over there, huh? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try for it. I'm not gonna do it. Wait, what? I'm sorry? What the what? There's a shrine around here? That can't be it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh. Ah, so you're here. Came to learn about the Zonai from an expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower, I'll concede. Ooh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Tauro has already gone off to the Zonai ruins. If memory serves, he spoke of starting his investigation around Dracozu Lake. Doesn't sound ominous at all. Dracozu de Lake, okay. I don't know his exact whereabouts, but if you go southeast, you should find the Zonai ruins he volunteered to inspect. That said, it's night now and he hasn't returned, which is worrying. Did he get swept up in his work at this site? My goodness, the man is absolutely indefatigable. 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 The hell is that? Uh, I'd have to look it up. Wait. Southeast from here. Okay, so now we don't have a marker anymore. Okay. Uh, Kalapu industriously assembled the team's base of operations. Inform you that Tauro planned to start investigating the Zonai ruins to the southeast, but uh, to the southeast by Dracozu Lake. Oh, that doesn't look good, dude. That does. That looks like a like a chain chomper. I bet you the ruins are right here. All right, all right, cool deal. You know what we're gonna do? Let's just take a shortcut to it, huh? Is that cheating? No, no. Using our brains. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I can see it from here. Uh, a little bit more over here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I can see. Uh, wait. I think I can see the lake. There's a lot of trees over there. Gotta be where that smoke is. Oh, am I meant to go through the lake? No. No. There's a lot of mist over here, though. Whoa. What the hell was that? Thunder? Oh, shit. The guy had warned me about this. Equip that. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Off we go. Whoa, buddy. Here we go. All right. Dear Callop, 
The influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see the pillar-shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. An anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing a way inside a new discovery. Naturally, I will go inside to investigate shortly. Join me as soon as you can, Tauro. Okay, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. Okay, um, the ruins. Over here, I imagine? Right? No? Whoops. Okay. Well, this is like the mouth of the uh, lake, right? Over here. Over here? There's a light. Yeah, that's got to be it. Come on. Here we go. There he is. There he is. Let's save real quick. Uh, no. No snack right now. I'm going to have to do some reading. I'm going to grab that lizard. Looks like a hammerhead lizard. Oh my god. Sticky lizard. Chest. Come on, baby. Something good. Charged shirt. Stormy weather attack. What? Used in ancient rituals and made from conductive material, this item produces electricity during thunderstorms. Dude, no way. Oh, so during storms, I can equip this and have a boost to attacks? Hmm. Cool. Cool beans. Mm. Aha! You came after all. I figured you would after you made that breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here. Look at this. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> It's a Zodai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might be as, as ascribable to the Zodai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try a deciphering. But some of it still deludes me. Maybe it's a poem? Or some kind of code, perhaps? Here. I'll read it out loud so we can both get the same page. Get on the same page. Okay. Hang on. Oh, shit. I almost spilled my fucking wine. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to get used to that. Mm. Oh. oh, this first part says, Wear the electric garb hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. All right, hang on a second. Wear the electric garb. What we just picked up from the chest? Hidden at long neck dragons along the wide mouth. Mouth, forest, serpent. I think it's just a thing that we picked up. What do you make of forest serpent and dragons there? Mm -hmm. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins designed to look like dragons. Oh, there you go. I didn't notice that myself. 
Forest Serpent, though, I haven't seen any designs like that. That's just the the name of the river, though, right? It looks like a like a like a serpent. It's got the long neck. What am I missing? What other wide mouth forest serpent is there? We we already got it, dude. We already got it. Maybe, hmm, the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dracosa River to a forest dragon. He's giving us the answer right here. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Mm. Next, it says, offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. What in the world is a Zonai charge? And where is his tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. Why am I still wet? Why am I still dripping wet? Why am I moist? All right. Okay, Link. Okay. I think, I think the tail is going to be the tail of the forest serpent. Oh shit! Where's the tail at, though? We got to follow the river. And at the end of the river, at the end of the tail, there should be an altar. Let's check. The log. Okay. Uh, where the electric orb hitting at? Long neck dragons. Uh, long away. My first offer a zone I charge to the altar at the tail. Yo. Of course it wasn't going to be easy. What if? What if? What if? What if? Come on, buddy. Shit, that hardly did anything. Fuck. All right, guys, take care of him. Let me know when you're done, please. Wait for him to come back here. Oh shit! Can't do him much more while we're swimming though, sadly. You're done. You're done, homie. Shit. Have I not picked this up before? I must not have. Should I have taken this picture? No worries. Whoa. Got another one right here. Fuck! That's a silver bad boy. What's he doing? Trying to spit at me, sir? Whoa. That was a hit and miss right there. Fuck. Ran right into that one.
What the fuck? Buy some more bombs, dude. Oh, fuck. Big guy got in my way here. Shit. Fuck. Miscalculated that. Shit. Come on, dude. That's it for that one. Something a little bit better than that. Come on, dude. That's all he's going to do right there, man. done sir ah uh, this river is going to be riddled with enemies I can already tell huh is that a doorway here oh hello big guy Lizards. Damn it. Damn it. He saw me coming a mile away. Ooh, now we have the trousers. I think I need to be wearing them. It wouldn't hurt. Okay. What else? Yep, I see him. I see him. I am. I am. Hmm. <laughs> uh, they're nice pants. Nice and airy. Get a nice breeze in there. It's good. It's good. Still haven't opened that, that, uh, that uh, link you sent me too, dude. That's going to stay sealed forever. Hope you know that. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Done. They got another one out now. Same figure, different sword. Comes with a shield. Interesting. It seems like a really good figure, has some good articulation.
I know there's like, like some really, really, really good quality Link figures out there that I was kind of curious on getting. Um, I don't know if it's part of the uh, SH Figure Arts line that you'd have to import. They're pricey though, dude. Like the paint quality on them, perfect, you know. Articulation, really good. But yeah, expensive stuff. Okay. Hello. Where are you at, sir? <clears throat> That's not going to do it. I got to do this. Surprise, motherfucker! Ooh! I'm getting an, atta an, an attack boost because it is a thunderstorm? Lightning? Uh, stormy weather attack. I think, I think so. That's the whole point of getting this um, clothing right now. What's this? <coughs> choo choo. He dodged the hell out of that. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Four. Four. Three. <coughs> Those are going to be tough. That's not part of the river, though. Oh, we have another doorway over here. This isn't going to do it. This isn't going to do it. There we go. Hi, little buddy. Don't be scared now. Don't be scared. I'm just going to grab you. <laughs> okay, now this one we got to play it cool. All right. He's looking right at us. There we go. Easy peasy. Headpiece. Wow. Might as well put it on. Ooh. Look at that. If this was Final Fantasy, it would be a summoner. Hmm. Yeah, the summoners typically have these um, unicron, uni unicron. Sorry, I got transformers in the brain here. Unicorn horns. Stylish. Hell yeah. All right. Well, the river keeps going over here. But I want to take out these robots, these automatrons. I mean, they're basically Decepticons here and see what we've got. Really don't want to know uh, what that looks like on your head. What now? I don't. What? Bro, it's 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 a twisty horn, right? Who here doesn't? Do, what now? <laughs> looks fine. Stylish. Yeah. Honestly, his hand, his hand that's all that's all decrepit. It looks like it looks like it like that. Is the Autobot going to get you, Dom? If the Autobot's going to get you, maybe, maybe no. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's save it here. This is a good spot to save. With my majestic horn here. 
And let's boost up our bow. Let's get a good one. Let's get a triple, actually. And we'll do lightning. Right. Oh, that didn't do much. That didn't do much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care of them. Oh, shit. Uh, how about we do this instead? Oh, no! Homie's throwing rocks at me. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. No! 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 We're doing great. We're doing excellent. Oh, wait. Here, hold on. Yeah, the Automar got you. I will deny it. No, I will allow it. Oh, my horny horn. I mean, it is a horn. It's a horn. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something worse, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Are you guys done yet? Dude, I am almost out of bombs here. Shit. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Whoa, oh, fuck, he got me. Come on, guys, take him out. I ain't gone all day here. Hang on. Should I use something else? No, that's going to be useless when it's raining. Damn, I only have 11 left. Oh, that almost hit me. But that got him. What if we go with ice? All right, get him, guys. Get him, guys. Oh, my God, guys. Jesus Christ. I got to do everything myself. You're done. You're done. Oh, fuck. He hits hard. Let, 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 let's back away. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Oh, shit. We're slipping. We're slipping. He's almost done. Don't let him throw rocks. Where are you guys up here? All of y'all. Get, get down there and beat his ass. Jesus Christ. Oh, he lost track of us. That's why. Is he coming up here? Boom. You're done. Hasta la vista. Can't carry this? It's not that good anyways. It ain't that good. How about compared to the cheap one here? Is it better than that? Eh, it's the same as that. Okay, cool. Cool beans. <laughs> uh, there was a third one. Was it taken care of? I don't see him. Oh, shit. He saw me. Never mind. Oh, fucking A, dude. What's up, homie? Give me that. That's mine now. What's up? What's up? Don't allow it? I mean, I already did. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, shit. I never hit the allow button. I forgot to hit the allow button. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm not going to allow that, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I, I barely saw it. I'll be like, the Autumn, I got you again? Jesus Christ. Dominic Zan, that's going to be between you and me, bro. Between you and me. <laughs> there have to be words that I cannot allow. <laughs> 
Woo! Oh my God! Cheers, man! Oh Jesus! Hmm. It doesn't come up on stream right? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Woo! Eyeballs almost popped out of my head here. <laughs> no, no, Dino, you do not want to know. No, 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 no. I will not allow you to be um, to be tainted. <laughs> oh boy! Jesus Christ! We're playing a Nintendo game for crying out loud here. Come on! Come on now! <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> uh, what are we doing I was expecting something else to be around here all right we kind of stopped following the river let me let me actually backtrack no 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 cancel that no nobody's being tainted here nobody's being tainted don't worry Mm -mm. How's McDonald's, by the way? God damn, I'm kind of hungry for McDonald's now. I'm not having McDonald's now. Mm -mm. God, I could just imagine some some golden crispy fries. Mm. Just sat down. Oh, you're barely gonna pack the bag. Oh, f I could almost smell it. Mm -hmm. Save it. No, no, no. My my tuna was good. My tuna was delicious. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we in trouble, dude? Oh no. I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, this is the worst time. This is the worst time for this. Waves and nuggets. Oh, in front of you. Damn, chicken nuggets sounds pretty good. What you get? Barbecue sauce? Is, is that what is that what you go for? Do they still have that super rare sauce? Well, not super rare, but what was it called? Sergeant. Tatsu or something? What the hell? Sorry, Jose. I was trying to keep the stream semi. 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 Hmm. Testing auto mods. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm surprised you didn't get perma banned with that. Oh my god. Oh no! What? Oh, seven. Oh, you gotta go back, dude. Is, is this not far? It's not far. There's a McDonald's like everywhere. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm not going to say it. Have have Dominic Zen DM you guys. My lips are sealed. Is it a bit far? Really? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, dude. That sucks, man. I hate it when that happens. I always check. I always check um, while I'm at the drive-thru. I check my bag. Make sure everything's there. They have a... Well, not they. I mean... It, it, it depends on where you go. But when I went to McDonald's... No, Taco Bell. Uh, the last time. A, a couple of weeks ago. I got the Nachos Bell Grande. It comes with sour cream. I have them. I had them add guacamole and jalapenos. I love it. With guacamole and jalapenos. I got home. Wasn't on there. Wasn't on there. I was almost going to call them. I had the receipt in my hand. I was almost going to call them. I wasn't about to go back. But then they tell you, oh, well, on your next trip, we'll, we'll give you the blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like going through all that, though. Ah, uh, disappointment. Uh, is this the end of the river, then? So this is the end of the tail. There has to be an altar around here that we have to... Um, Give a Zonai charge to, right? I see a light. I do see a light. They had us park. My grandma orders a lot. Oh, okay. Sometimes they have, whenever I order my fries without salt, sometimes they ask me to park too. And I we always understand because they have to, I think um, they put um, some some paper over the, uh, the, the, the tray where they put all of the fries on. Because there's salt on there to try to separate my fries from the others. I totally understand. I totally understand. 
Maybe at least call them and tell them, hey, I didn't get my fries and you get them next time, you know? I'm going to bypass those guys if I can. Head on over here. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not it's not something super terrible, Dino. It's just, it's just, you know, it's it's a word. It's a word. <laughs> I will DM you myself, dude. Don't worry. I will quench your curiosity. <laughs> Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Okay. This altar is definitely different. Is it raining inside of the altar? How could it be? Ra oh, because there's not really a roof on here. Yeah, dude. Uh, oh, man. I honestly, I would probably call them and tell them, hey, I forgot my fries. You know? Maybe at least I can give you a partial refund depending on how you pay. Did you pay with a card? Did you pay with like a debit or credit card? Maybe they can partially refund that. Oh, here it is. Zonai charge. Here we go. Uh, hold it. Ah, those are the dragon pillars. Oh, shit. What was in the background? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. No way. Cleared up the storm in the sky. Oh, yeah. We're going to go explore that now. We tried last time. There was a very heavy fog. Nice. Oh. Callop, did you see that? Lightning struck the dragon pillar too. Huh? Is someone in those ruins? Can't whisper you don't know you have a uh, whisper blocks. Maybe on Discord, dude. Oh, it's you again. We think the terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen lightning strike like that. And even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Unbelievable! A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunder clouds and revealed some new sky islands? Great catch! Another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say it's the Hall of the Century. I mean, the Hall of the Century, let's be honest, that's 86 Optimus Prime, right? Can we agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Why does the old man look like he's going fishing? Wait, what old man? The dude with the glasses here? He's going fishing? Oh. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Hmm, oh. you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this per to Pura right away. Oh. Kellop. I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around the Floating Ring Ruin in a report to for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any uh, more discoveries to be made. Uh -huh. Well, remain here? You mean alone? Uh. Yes. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Callop. He wants me to investigate alone. Field work isn't my strongest suit. But this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Mm. Right. Leave this to me, Taro. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. Yeah. 
I don't care what it's called. It'll always be Twitter to me. Yeah. Same, Hobby Bob. Thank you. He looks like it. Really? Really? Why? Could you be more specific? Is it the glasses? Is it the hair? What would it say about? The chill clothing, maybe? Hmm. Uh, Dino number one. I think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah. The vest. Ah, he had a red vest. I didn't notice that. Okay. No idea how to turn off the whisper thing. You'd have to go into your settings somewhere, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure how myself. I'm not sure how. Okay, so. Zoom out. Here we go. Farron. Sky Archipelago, Thunderhead Islands. There's no longer a thunderstorm surrounding it. That's where we're going to go next. Um, probably starting with this island here. Going to figure it out. Going to figure it out. Wait, we came in through here though, right? Yeah, we came in through here. Hey, I'm going to take this back. Bro. <laughs> I'm going to head on outside. Come on. Okay. Let me climb this thing. You know what? Let me switch over to my climbing gear. Look at that. I love this gear. I love it. You know what? I don't know how we're going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Huh. Huh. Maybe a um, hotter balloon? Whoops. Well, that was no good. Huh. Oh, wait. I have to go back to the tower? Oh, maybe from the tower. Yeah. Hoverbike. Hover bike. I, you know what, Seven? I don't think you were on a few streams ago. When actually, I think I was actually riding a hover bike that the game had built had built for me, and it was just a platform with like four fans and the steering stick, and I was able to navigate where I wanted to go. It seemed pretty cool. I don't know if a hover bike will take you all the way up though. Uh, a fork of lightning heralded the appearance of a new sky island. Yeah, let me head back to the tower. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all, <Yo>. hello. <laughs> oh, it's a different design. Okay. I think this might be quicker. We're heading right over here, right? Yep, right over here. Oh, shit, we're not going to make it, though. Oh, no, we are. Right there. Oh, there's still a bunch of clouds there, though. I thought the clouds cleared up. Huh. We're definitely going to use an uppity up. 
at the bottom of that cone that's up ahead. Ooh, it's raining over here. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful. This is awesome. Look at this. Look at that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Change weapons. We're good. Stop fussing about it. Um, didn't want to possibly upset Jose trying to be a goods, a goods friendo. Quite a hilarious joke. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be words that I'm just not going to, you know. And it's not like we're going to be using these bad words on a regular basis. I try to, I do try to control it every now and then, you know. I've mentioned this before in the past, but like on like on YouTube, I'll definitely censor myself a bit more on YouTube than I will on, than I will on Twitch, you know. Only because of the wider audience that's over on YouTube side. Hey, stick and cheese, man! What's up, dude? How are we doing? I'm having I'm having some delicious cheesy crackers. In honor of stick and cheese, man. Thanks for being here, dude. Let's do an uppity here. Probably nothing up here. Hey, now. What? Seven. I'm not allowing that seven. No. Damn, the Automot even put stars in there. Holy shit. <laughs> You're all on thin ice here. You know that? You're all on thin ice here. <laughs> oh, my innocent eyes. Oh, my God. What in the hell? Oh, they're delicious, Stinky. <laughs> Semi-family friendly. I agree. Uh, there are some subject matters that still don't need to be publicized. Sure. 100%. I think on Twitch, it's a little bit more open. The vibes are a little bit different, you know, when we're gaming. It's a different audience here. I think I think we're all of a, of a little bit of an older certain age, you know, whereas on on YouTube, because it's primarily Transformers and customization, I try to try to keep it a little bit clean, you know. Just let my curiosity has finally been quenched. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you put the stars. Wow. So the Automat was was good to uh, to deduce what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one. Sorry, Dino. <laughs> you have to get that one from seven. Pizza, nice. What kind of toppings are you having, Stinky? What is your go-to pizza, huh? Do tell. I'm curious. <laughs> what do you do? It would be the first time Automod has tried to permaban me. I think when we had uh, when we used to have Nightbot over on. YouTube, did an iPod, like, time out people automatically? I think it was Guy Thingme that was really testing uh, Nightbot back in the day. I remember that. I remember. Kind of impressive that Automod knows. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it took a wild guess, you know. Again, I did um, recently change the Automod settings to be a little bit, bit more strict. Nightbot was a dick. <laughs> Apparently, I've allowed the word dick here. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. Uppity, uppity. There we go. Right there. Boom. Okay. This is going to be a long one here. Oh, never mind. Huh. Huh. Whoa! Hey, a horn's glowing. Got a bit of a horny glow there going on. Hmm. Your phlegm. Okay. All right. What are we supposed to do here, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost flew off the edge here, homie. Huh? 
Arrows, arrows, arrows are good. What are we doing? A lot of uh, a lot of a lot of tree trunks, trees that are struck down here. I probably don't want to be in the water when the lightning strikes. Bad sometimes I spit up. A oh really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I have a bit where I do um, I do have. Like a perma flam condition myself too. Like I'll I'll cough quite a bit. You guys will notice that, especially once I'm talking a bit more. Um, I don't know what causes that. I haven't asked my doctor about it. When I looked it up online, they said it's probably your diet. It's probably what you're eating. It's probably McDonald's, to be honest with you. You know, probably not eating the greatest. I think. But yeah, I do get that phlegm problem. Not not where I need to spit, but I, I just I just um, kind of cough a bit. Ba da ba ba da ba. Ba da ba ba da. I'm loving it. Oh yeah. Where are we going from here? Where are we going from here? Where are we going from here? Huh? Over here. Got it. What's our destination? Oh, we have some automatrons here. The point where I... Cho oh, dude, really? Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Have you asked your doctor about that? I definitely would. For me, it's more... For me, it's... It's an inconvenience, if anything. You know? I guess if it gets worse, maybe I will ask my doctor. Really bad heartburn? Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. I get that sometimes, too. My brother-in-law gets it really bad where he has medication for his heartburn. And I remember one time we were out on a vacation, um, the whole family, and I think we had like a really bomb-ass pizza one time that gave me heartburn. And I took one of his pills, and it really did help. But I don't get it so bad where I need to take medication myself, thankfully. I don't know if you have to take medication yourself. Also, Stinky Cheese Man. I've asked and they said it's uh, probably my diet. And will not test it? Maybe maybe get a second opinion, dude. But you know what? It probably is our diet. That's what I saw when I when I looked it up online. It's probably our diet. Super vague, right? Maybe, maybe we're not eating the greatest. I can believe that. Your fault, really? Oh, you eat very healthy, though? I mean, except for eating McDonald's, right? Uh, how often do you have McDonald's or, or fast food in general? I'm trying to make healthy changes myself right now because I'm going to the gym. Um, I'll have, like, salads uh, during the week for lunch. I'll have oatmeal in the mornings. I'll have also have a regular dinner, like burritos or, or whatever the hell, you know. I had tuna right now for, for lunch before the stream. Oh, you do take medication. Oh, okay. Ho I'm, I'm sure that's helping, though. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. A once a week isn't too bad. I would say it's not too bad. Every now and then I'll still have I'll still have some some junk food, you know. It's not the best thing, but it's just so easy sometimes, you know. I live alone. Uh, sometimes cooking dinner just I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I'm lucky to have my mom close by, like my parents, like where like I can, I can stop by and have whatever whatever whatever's being made, right? <laughs> Let's head over here. Uh, we're going to take care of that guy. We're going to take care of that guy. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Never mind. We are not going to take care of that guy. <laughs> Woo, baby. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, he probably had some kind of a metallic weapon. The poor fool. What's this? Careful! Careful! Woo! Buddy boy! Buddy boy! Buddy boy! Instagram is great! Yeah! Thank you, Hobbybot! I, I, I agree with that! I wish it came out my nose sometimes. What, the cough? Out your nose? You think that, you think that would be that would be better? Okay. 
We have a metallic cube here. Shit! No, get 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 away from it. Get away from it. Get away from it. But I'm wondering if it's required for something. We can obviously manipulate it. We can move it around. Oh, mucus. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I see another cone right over there. We have another island over here with another cone. Let's go to this one first. Come on, baby. Where are you? Oh, shit. Wrong button. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. There. Blue your nose one instead of a spitting. Uh, I think that'd be better. Okay, yeah, possibly. What level are you, sir? Crap. Crapola. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! That was a mistake. Ugh, god. I'd have to eat all this food just to get all of my hearts back. Come on, baby. Oh, boy. Okay. You said it like you don't have a clog sinuses. Hmm. Come on, guys. Take care of him. Does he not have any metal? Oh, he's got a stick. It's got to be some kind of a badass stick to be doing so much damage, though. Oh shit. That could have been bad. Grab his weapon. Oh yeah, I'm doing more damage. Because of my outfit. Yeah. That's good. That is good. Eight? For real? All right. Guess we'll do that. Okay. All right. Shit, man. That one hit. Really did a number on us here. Is there anything over here? Butterfly. We missed it. Damn it. I wanted that butterfly. I think this wine's getting to me. It is not a flavor that I particularly enjoy but it's the last battle bottle of wine that I have sadly I need to restock I've decided I'm going to restock on that yeah okay what's going on over here huh. 
Whoa. Careful with the water. <laughs> Nothing in here? So what, what's the point of this one here? Not a damn thing, huh? Wow, we still have quite a bit. Can't believe I beat this game I have in one day. What game is that? I know it's not Tears of the Kingdom. Because I would press B for doubt on that. Where do we go from here? I think we have to go up there and then fly or glide over here maybe we can probably do it from here I'd rather do it from over here though oh shit we're gonna make it yeah we'll make it fine we were here before we were here already 2008 the Incredible Hulk oh I remember that one I never played it myself though is it a good game I guess it's like an action game, huh? I could totally see that game being beatable in one day, though. Yeah. Totally. Hopefully it was good. Okay, we're going over here next. Yep. Oh, this is what I missed. Ha ha! Ha ha! Silly me. I missed that part. Fun to you? I'm sure it's fun to other folks too. I think I remember not hearing bad things about it. I'm actually, I did pre-order a third party. It's not really a third party. It's a, a portable gaming device from a company called Retroid. Um, and it's supposed to be really good for like emulation classic emulation games all the way up to like I think PS2 titles I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to it Dino Riser all right guys time of the night hope y'all have a good stream do this again tomorrow yes dude definitely I'll be on tomorrow five o'clock Pacific Center time thank you so much for being here dude always appreciate you man have yourself a good night and I'll catch you tomorrow bro for sure 100% I love the uh, wanted Part of the game where the more damage you cause the higher the wants are kind of like gta that's what it sounds like see you guys then nice thanks you did have a good one man whoops Got this. go baby go going out with a bang hell yeah thank you dude oh yeah Oh, I got the hiccups now. I got the hiccups. Oh, shit. Whew! Air was getting blown away here. <laughs> Played this when I was uh, little. A lot, of, a lot of moves. I wouldn't mind trying it. There's also a dock that I ordered. It's called the Retro Pocket 5, RP5. It's their latest handheld. Um, it runs off of Android, although I think you can install Linux into it. But it's supposed to be really good for like emulation. That's that, that's what it's meant for. It's like a mini Switch. I'm looking forward to it. I think there's even some PS3 games that can possibly be run into it. I'm not entirely sure. I know Switch. There's a Switch emulator. You can have, although it's kind of useless for me. I have a Switch here, you know. Hmm. But I love portable gaming, though. I really do. PS3 War? A version. 
of this game. There's a version of uh, the whole game. Really? I thought it was only on PS2. A lot better. I'm sure prob probably uh, graphic-wise, right? I would assume. But yeah, I, I wouldn't mind checking it out. There's a lot of old games that I'm curious about. There was a Superman game, I think on the 360 and PS3. Superman game based off of Superman Returns. That, um, I'm sure it wasn't, it wasn't like the best thing ever, but not like Superman 64 bad, you know. I wouldn't mind checking it out. All right, we have something here. Okay. Oh! Oh! Stand back! Oh! It makes this thing pop up. Got it. So I guess we're going to wait here, huh? That's the way to go. Okay. PS2, Wii, Xbox, 360, PS3, PC. Interesting. I think it was a kind of incredible whole game where a lot of um, a lot of environments were destructible, right? I would imagine so if it's an incredible whole game. That's what I would do. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, this is gonna blow. Careful. We have some um, some wood here. Wait, 2008 movie? Oh no, I'm thinking of a different game. The Incredible Hulk game that I'm thinking about, which is based off the comics, because it had like a comic book Hulk on the cover. Oh, I have no idea then about that one. That was the uh, the incredible whole game that was still part of the MCU, or no, or was it the the previous movie that we just titled Hulk? I think they both, but they both got games. Edward Norton, so MCU then, huh? I never knew he had had a video game. Interesting. Okay, I remember I remember playing the old Captain America game. Based off of the first movie, and it was eh, wasn't the most terrible thing. It was fun. Okay, I might, I might check it out. Grab all of these guys here. Ancient fish are good to have. They are good to have. Yikes. How do we do this, huh? Oh, it's one of those magic fuckers here, man. Let's save real quick. Let us save. I'm probably going to fall to my death right here. I'm not going to be able to just jump that. Nope. Uh, oh, fuck. No, no, no. Let, let's load. We're loading. Yeah. Plan on buying the PS3 version. Do you still do you have a PS3 console, Seven? It's gotta be a way up here. Um okay. I came up there. Oh no, the tree! The only way we don't have it a PS1. Interesting. I'd recommend getting a PS1 if you could. PS1's a classic. There's a lot of really good games for the PS1. Oh, there it is. I see it. 
gotta go through this other cone. I, I was gonna do something else right now. Go and attach a, a rocket to my shield to fly up a bit, but we don't have to. Thankfully. Thankfully, we are good. Uh, I need to get the MCU Iron Man game. MCU Iron Man game. I think I played that as well. I think I played it as well. And it was... It, I would say it was okay. Uh, the actor that they got to play Iron Man it sounded sounded decent enough as a Robert Downey Jr. Um, get the skin of the whole game. Funny enough. Interesting. Yeah, I might check out that whole game. I don't know if I would stream it. Probably not. Oh, but the uh, the portable console that I'm buying, it does, it does, I did buy a, a dock for it as well. It was only like 30 bucks. And the dock, I think you can... Um, I, I, I would probably be able to stream it. It's it's on 1080p, you know? So maybe I would do that? I don't know. Maybe we'll have like a, like a retro gaming night, you know? I'd be down for that. Okay, what else do we have here? <sighs> oh boy. Ooh. Okay. Motherfucker. Oh, we're gonna beat the shit out of you, homie. Yeah, we're keeping this stream family friendly. All right, all right. Who am I kidding here? Come on. Yada hi, yada hi. Come on, you little shit. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck. Shit! Oh, oh no, he got me! Hey, the big man got him. Nice. Uh, that is a seven weapon, okay. Uh, oh yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you were aware, I, I bought a battery. The first battery that I bought, Cheese Man, was really no good. Really no good. The 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 battery was going from like hundred percent to like eighty-five to fifty to fifteen within like seconds, you know. It was it was a super bad battery. I paid fifteen bucks for it on Amazon, so it was you know, you get what you paid for. The battery that I have now, I think it was like um uh, twenty five, twenty five bucks. It's been working wonderfully. It doesn't last quite as long as the original is the original Switch battery, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I do plan on ordering a Switch 2 as soon as it's available, so I'd only let, need a, need a, it to last me, what are we saying, like six months maybe? But yeah, this is a launch Switch that I'm playing. I never got the OLED model, never got the Switch Lite. Um, having an OLED model would have been nice. An OLED screen would have been beautiful, but... Um, no, it wasn't enough of, a, of an upgrade for me, sadly. Right now, I'm just smashing anything that moves as the, abo as the abomination. Nice. So it's based on the movie, huh? Interesting. 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 Wait, what's that? What's charging? Oh, it's the, the bow. Got it. All right, so we're not going to grab that. Anything up here, huh? Uppity uppity. There is nothing up here. Look at that. What a surprise. All right. Okay. Okay. Well... We're heading towards somewhere, that's for sure. Whoa. Oh, 
I see this guy up here. Level three, okay, okay. Oh, we're gonna have a shrine. How many blessings do we have? I think just a one, right? Yeah, we have one blessing. We probably won't get another heart tonight. I think I'm happy with the hearts that I have right now, though. I, I honestly think it's enough to beat the game with. I think we'll be fine. Some of these enemies, man, they do take out a ton of hearts out of you, though. I wonder if it's over there. Oh, we have some kind of a minecart railing here. Okay. Let me head over here first. Oh no! My stick! What's gonna happen here, huh? Is this gonna open up? Oh, look at this. Oh, I can't use the big guy for that though, sadly. I wish I could tilt him up. I wish I could tilt him up. Okay, what good is a hole here, huh? Can't I just do an uppity? Did I just waste a bomb? Is that what I did? Whoops! Shit, there's two of them here. Oh no! These are some crappy weapons, man. Done. And you are done as well. Alright. There is a shrine around here. Okay. Where is it? In this direction? Yeah. Probably gonna be over here, maybe. I have to take a guess. Okay. To another the save here. I do want to get to that shrine. Uh, we've only been at this for two hours and 43 minutes. We have a lot of time here. I think I'm going to go to four hours tonight. Potentially. The wine does kind of get to me. Woo! Okay. Last one here. Ah. One more glass. Uh, look at this. Here. Hold on. Oh, shit. Careful. Careful, dude. Damn, look at how that pours. Look at that. Look at that beautiful pour. Look at that. I don't want to get too far. I'm a little bit too tipsy for that. 
That's it. Got to give it a jiggle here. Got to got to fix the old hairs there. Cheers. I love it. Blah. Hang on, I'm going to read that. I'm going to read this. plan on streaming the whole game i do recommend skipping the intro cutscene how long is it 37 minutes it has implied self-delete self-delete huh you mean like a like a mature kind of a theme i mean if it's if it's handled i guess in a tasteful way i wouldn't i wouldn't mind having it on stream I think I'd be okay. Happens off screen, holds, spits out of a. Oh! Okay, I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, they even talked about that in one of the movies, too. I believe. Oh, shit. This guy. Um, let's do one of these bad boys over here. No, no, yes. Shit, I'm running out. Oh, no. Shit, move. What are you doing? Get out of here. This is mine. Damn it, this is my stick. Can't care anymore. Uh oh. Oh shit, there's two more. Shock fruit. You down for the count, homie? Boom! Boom! Ah, oh, shit. Well. Yo. Don't! Oh, no! That was, that was self-inflicted right there. Jesus. Ah. Uh. Terrible. This part is kind of confusing. We have some. Oh no, shit! Fuck! What am I doing? What am I doing? I think the wine's getting to me. Oh crap. No, no, no. Get, get down from there, dude. Trying to get to these tracks? Where the where the where the tracks at? <coughs> Here. Okay. Sent a Hulkbuster after you. What? What in the hell? Oh damn, dude. That's for real, huh? Oh, 
Okay, what? What's going on here? Oh no! We don't get any uh, mine carts though. How are we supposed to do this without mine carts? We have a metal plate. I don't know how that's gonna help. That is not gonna help, dude. That is not gonna help. In fact, let's just leave you. What the fuck did I do? Oh! Oh! It's giving us a hint. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. This game is so good, man. This game is so freaking good, dude. We gotta make our own quasi card thingamabobber. Add a couple of fans to it. Consider the boss in the game. Only do damage when he's stunned. Uh, Iron Man? You mean Iron Man? Iron Man's a boss of the game? That's fascinating. That one there. This one here, right? It's not Tony. Silver Hulkbuster piloted by the army? Holy shit. That definitely didn't happen in the movie, though. Do a courtesy save here. And, um... Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Don't fall off the edge now. Oh, that's so good. Whoa! Okay. Well, there goes our ride. Okay. Uh, you get an Iron Man colored Hulkbuster if you have the Iron Man game. Save file on your console. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't even have a PS3 anymore. Not the PS2 version, sadly, yeah. Not surprised. Oh, okay. There it is. And we have a treasure. Wait. Oh. <clears throat> Why can't we lift the treasure, man? That's whack. That's okay. That's okay. Shock emitter. Have we had these before? We have. I've got three of them. Oh, there's a pillar over here. What level is it? Three. Um, I'm not sure I want to mess with that right now. Okay. That's it for that. Oh, it's allowing us to cook. <laughs> See, it's down here. Wait, is it over here? Oh, no. 
Oh shit, did I just mess up? I think we're too far, huh? Shit. Damn it. What's up this tree, huh? Whoa! Get him, guys. Thank you. up here we got to take care of that thing okay we can get back up through here ah oh, shit messed up again I keep doing that today Got that treasure. How do we get up there? Oh. No, not through there. Could have sworn it would have been down there. Well, we have some more enemies over here. Oh, okay. Had the Wii version. Seemed to have more stuff than the PS2 version. Really? I mean, typically they're they live in they live in pretty much the same. If anything, there's probably like a little bit of a graphical difference. I remember I remember playing um, what was it? X Men Legends or Marvel something something Marvel Team Up on the Wii version, and it had this weird Wii mechanic where you have the the Wii the Wii remote and the nunchuck controller, and literally. To tilt the camera, left or right, you have to tilt the nunchuck controllers and the and the Wii mode. It was so bad, I hated it. I hated it. But that's a version I had it in, you know. <clears throat> they share the same level of graphics. We had every skin, and each skin had a different voice to them. Alongside the want to level progression, had more enemies. Compared to the PS2 version. Yeah, who knows why that is. Who knows. Sometimes. Sometimes they. Uh, hired other studios to port them too. You know. But I don't know why that would lead to having more stuff in it though. Interesting. Alright, we're going to go for this guy. Let's do a courtesy save. I feel like doing a save here. Yikes. Can we get them both? Can we get them both? Huh? Don't hit me. Don't hit me, bro. Don't hit me, bro. Damn it. Shit! Fuck! He hit me. God damn it. Where's my weapon at? Where's my weapon at? Did he break it? Okay. 
Alright, let's go back to some trash here. here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it, damn it! There goes those goods. Alright. There's somebody else up here. No? Thought there was. Damn it. Almost made it. Nothing. Disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. Ah, it's over here. Ha! Ah. Yo, buddy! Gotta build another item here. Um, here. Okay. Couple of fans. Yep. Tree branch. Don't want that. Oh, we're going to have to fight that tower, aren't we? I think we are. Sure we are. Okay. Good stuff. Whoa, wait on a second. Shit! I was trying to use my uppity while I was on the thing, but it, it, it didn't let me. Interesting. Okay. I may have to go back. I think we are going to take this guy out. He's got a treasure right there. treasure will be mine I'm gonna get that treasure if it's the last thing I do okay all right we have still more island to explore man wow interesting okay all right Where do we start, huh? Oh, I don't have my tribo anymore.
Did I do anything? Did I do anything? Shit. Damn it. Whoa! I see you. Damn it! It's in the back of your head, huh? Yada ha da hi. Guys! Dude, stop moving so much. Whoa! Damn it, we got him. What do we do here? What do we do here, huh? Shit. That was close. Damn it. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away. He keeps switching them out. Oh my God. Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be tough, dude. Um... Motherfucker! Shit. Oh no! Fuck! Oh, that was a mistake, dude. That's a mistake. Took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Damn. Don't, don't fucking touch me. Don't you fucking touch me. Okay, good. Damn, I wonder if he gets all of his juice back, huh? Oh, man, we took a wrong turn there. We're gonna have to go back. Over here. Shit, where else? Oh, shit! No, 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 no! Fuck! Oh, making all kinds of wrong turns here. Damn it. Damn, I'm gonna reload.
tired of doing anything. Miss. Come on. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hell yeah. Come on, baby. Damn it. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. Got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Whoa! Almost fell down. Again. Alright, what awesome weapon are we gonna put this on? Um, 15. Fifty-seven. Look at that. Nice. Good stuff. All right. Um, where did the treasure chest go, though? That he had on his back. I wonder. There it is. Come on, baby. Hell yeah! Oh. Oh, that's a bit out there, huh? Okay. Interesting. Okay, we have that. Whoops! No! I hit the wrong button! Oh! Fuck! And we haven't had the shrine yet to get back up there. I'm gonna blame the wine for that. Ah. <laughs> no. No. Fuck. I meant to do this. Hmm. Hang on. Hang on, did we get an auto save? After beating ba -ba 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 We didn't. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and beat the guy again. We know how to do it. We know how to do it.
We got this. I'm going to stay in the safety of my little perch. Cap him from a distance. Don't drink and game, people. Mm. Yikes. All right, one more time here. Uh, you know what? No. This guy right here. Damn it. I already wasted one. Look at that! Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Shit. Damn it! I can't see over there, dude. Come on, baby. We can do this. Don't you fucking hit me. Don't you fucking hit me. Hell yeah. Where is it at? Right there. Get that son, bitch. One of us. Damn it. I would have had him. Would have had him. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Got you. No, one more, really? Got you. That's right. That's right. That's how we do it here. That's how we do it here. That was actually a little bit faster, huh? Like, I'm almost getting the hang of that. All right. And we're going to put it with this guy right here. <laughs> Boom. Now, give me the treasure. Give me this treasure. Oh, my diamonds are still here. Wow. All right. And we're going to save, okay? I'm not going to try to get that treasure right now, though. We're a little bit too late in the stream. And I'm definitely... Filling the wine. Uh, we'll save. Okay. Got about half a glass left. Maybe I should stop drinking this. I don't think I'm enjoying this wine. <laughs> God. Oof. It has that um, very strong bitter taste. Did I save? I'm going to save again. Yeah, and then we're going to do what I was trying to do before. Head over here. All right, mark these up. No! No! Almost did it again. Okay. That's all I've got. This one as well. Okay. Maybe on the next stream. Jedi Gamer, what's up, my dude? Welcome. Thank you for joining. Good to have you here. Uh, which dragon is this? The light dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, that was good. That was good. I think we should do the... We should try to do the shrine next. Let's try and knock that shrine out of here, huh? What? Hmm...
seems to be in this direction. Over here, maybe. Oh, oh, it's up there. Oh, it's up there. I have to stop the uh, this little makeshift cart that we're making ourselves halfway into the trail there. So I can do an uppity up. That's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. All right, let's do it. Let us do that. Uh, we do have some fans over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Give it the old shaky shake here. There we go. Wow. What? Who is this? BC Bongo Cat. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome, BC. It's been um, 37 months, 12 days, 5 hours. Doing good, dude. How are you? Good to see you here again, man. Welcome, dude. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Let me switch on my weapon here. Yeah, let's go for this one. Okay. I'm going to save again. Because I'm probably not going to get this right the first time. Uh, doing great. Just been busy with school. Oh, I, I could imagine, dude. I could imagine. Hope it's going good, though. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, is there going to be an actual shrine puzzle mechanic in here? Hopefully not. I don't, I don't know if I have the energy for these. Hopefully it's a gimme. We'll find out. We'll find out. 12 projects, 3 assignments, and 4 quizzes. <laughs> oh, dude. I hope your school is going great for you, dude. Oh. Oh, no. Worst possible shrine. We're butt naked. Except for our undies, thankfully. Mm. Oh, man. All right. We got to do this. Proving Grounds Short Circuit. All right, let's go for the stick. Wow. Look at all these automatrons. Zelda's going great. I am loving Tears of the Kingdom. This is um, part 44 of playing Zelda. Yeah. I think we're at the tail end of the game, to be honest with you. We've done a bunch of shrines. I've explored a bunch of the world map, a bunch of the sky islands, a bunch of the down below. I think I'm about ready to, to, to beat the game. So we have a good number of hearts. Um, we're doing the uh, the main missions now. We're doing the main quest, and it feels like we're at the tail end. I don't think I'm going to beat it tonight, but I, th I think it's going to be soon. I think it's going to be soon. I'm looking forward to the next game that we're going to play, which I'm not going to say. Lips are sealed. Lips are sealed. I'm looking forward to it, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven enemies here. Um... Eight, nine. Shit. Shit. And I've been spotted. The shrine is called Short Circuit, so it has something to do with electricity, I think. Got him. Give me the stuff. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, shit. Damn it! We have one arrow and no bow. 
The final boss? No. We've beaten um, four shrines. I don't know if there's a fifth. Sh no, not, not four shrines. Four temples, rather. We've beaten about 100 shrines. Uh, we did beat... We did get to the final boss, but like story, spoiler stuff, it wasn't the final battle, right? But I think that's what we're working towards now. Here we go. Damn it. Hurt us. Got him. Broke our weapon, though. Well, we got a bow. That's good. Hey, thank you so much, man. Actually kind of tough. Oh, so you've beaten this game then? We've had some tough battles here in the game. Hopefully uh, nothing that we can't handle though. That's what I'm trying to, to, to prepare with the hearts, with our with our meals. We have some, some good meals in our inventory right now. Wow, 100%, really? I don't think I'll be doing that. Now, when you say 100%, like, do you mean like all the shrines? Did you get all of the... Uh, the deco seeds. I found quite a few. I think I'm pretty happy with my inventory. Well, this doesn't show it here. It's to default. But we've opened up a lot of in inventory slots. I think I'm pretty happy with, with where I'm at. Um, I've been using a couple of guides, too, for different locations for the shrines and whatnot. Yeah, I'm at a point where I don't, I don't mind getting that extra help. You know? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Okay. Oof. Same with Breath of the Wild. Nice, nice. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. I didn't quite hundred percent it, but I got I got pretty close. I got pretty close. I think I I think overall I enjoyed this game a little bit more than Breath of the Wild. This is like Breath of the Wild, but like plus. So much more with the Sky Islands, with the Down Below World. A lot more going on, you know. I love it. Love it. How about we do a little bit of this? Nice. Nice. All right. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, baby. Shit. Let me get this one first over here. Damn, last one, dude. Make it count, baby. Can I actually grab that? No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can get up there, though. Okay. Plus three damage. Nice. Got him. Got him, baby. Oh, me too, dude. Me too. I have my tickets to go uh, next week, Thursday. Uh, one of the first showings. It's going to be, um, I think, around 5 p.m. I'm looking forward to it. I'm trying not to get my hopes up too high, but uh, everything that I'm hearing so far sounds like it's going to be amazing, you know? I do plan to make a review video for YouTube. I'll probably film it that same night while it's fresh in my mind. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely am. I don't know when you're planning to see it. Damn, this hardly did anything, huh? Whoa! Sir? What melee weapons do we have? I might have to go for this.
Hello? Get up, sir. No, that's not any better. Oh, shit. He's swinging. He is swinging. Hello, hello. Oh, shit. Took out quite a few hearts for us. Going in blind. None of the trailers, really? Wow, dude. Respect. Respect. I saw only the first trailer. Um. So I know I've seen a little bit. I haven't seen any other of the other trailers after that, though. I'm like, I'm trying to go in blind. It's a little bit tough with social media, though. You know. Um. But again, I'm hearing just good stuff about it. So the first one, the rest have no idea. Exactly. I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. It's like, I feel like I've seen enough. And a lot of the the later trailers, the, you always run the risk. They usually can, can tend to show too much, you know, of the story of whatever the case might be. They can definitely show too much. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm avoiding them. I don't need to see anything else. I already know, know that I'm going to go see it, you know? Yeah. Ah, I think this is the last guy. Oh man, I wish I had some better weapons here. Okay. What? Oh, game. Come on, game. Shit. Grab his weapons. Hell yeah, we got him. We got him. Come on, baby. Shit. We got him. We got him. We're good. Can't wait for the Nemesis Prime uh, Rise of the Beast figure. Is that only... Um, I've heard Takara Tommy announce that, but not Hasbro themselves. I don't know how hard of a figure it's going to be to get. It looks really good. It looks really good. I still have my regular uh, Rise of the Beast Prime figure. Um, I'm waiting to get... I think I do have the DNA upgrade kit. I'm going to be doing an, an outside-the-box video unboxing of that. But I'm... I'm Definitely looking forward to that, though. I'm probably going to customize him in the original Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime colors because I, I I think I prefer that a little bit better, you know? Oh, the Automod got you, BC. Here, I got you, dude. That word is pretty tame. I will absolutely allow it. Here we go. Sucker for, for black pre repaint. As I've said before in the past, almost every figure looks better in black paint. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. All right, let's grab this. Something is sparking. Oh, that's that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't get the treasure chest. Is it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. The hell is this? No! God damn it! I shouldn't have touched that thing. Damn it! Damn it. Now we know. Oh, Link, get on the ladder, dude. Considering getting a second copy uh, to the Bumblebee movie color scheme. I only have the one copy. I think I'm good with just the one. You know, I actually ended up selling all of my Rise of the Beast figures. That movie, that movie was, was fine, Rise of the Beast. I haven't really thought about it much since it came out, though, or been wanting to see it again. So it definitely cements the fact that I think Bumblebee, the Bumblebee movie is probably the best. No, not probably. 100%, without a doubt, the best live-action Transformers movie for me personally. I thought Rise of the Beast was fine, but 
I'm not gonna. I don't plan on like doing a repaints for those other figures. You know. Um, I think the Optimus Prime figure is a little bit better than the first Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime figure. You know, a little bit less kibbleish, although the proportions are a bit different. But that's fine. I'll, I'll work around that. I'm good. And that's why I've also held off on buying the Studio Series figures for TF1 figures. I think the designs look great. I think the designs look really good. I'm going to hold off until I see the actual movie and see how I feel about it before I try to invest in those figures myself, you know? If anything, the uh, Yolo Park model kit figures, those look really good. The paint job, the, the, the brightness, the shininess, glossiness of them, they look fantastic. I I'm very tempted to get those. You know, so we'll see. We'll see. All right. Second blessing, full heal. Thank the Lord for that. Uh, we definitely won't get any other shrines tonight, though. I don't think we're going to keep going with this main story. See where it leads us. I guess I have to finish this wine. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mental note. Barefoot Cabernet Sauvignon is not my favorite wine. In fact, I don't like it. I'm drinking it because I bought the damn thing. Uh, I probably won't be buying this again. I prefer, again, as I've mentioned before many times, I prefer, I think, white wine. Wine that's a little bit sweeter. This is very, very bitter, very bitter. It's an acquired taste. I don't care to acquire this taste, <laughs> I think. <laughs> um, I can definitely feel it though. <laughs> Never really uh, liked SS38 at all. Thought it looked like trash. That's the Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. I thought, you know what? Only because, I think because, um, he seemed like it was hard to find for a while. Added to like the want to to, to, to actually have him. I thought it was fine. He uh, he was one of the customizations that I made before I made the channel, my YouTube channel. And I made a heavy customization where I got rid of the kibble. He's not really transformable for my version that I have. A lot of the, the, the back plate, I shaved it down to give him the... Uh, the proper size waist, you know, I, I just mostly cared about having a really good bot, bot mode figure for them back then. I did this, I did kind of a similar thing for Dropkick. I got rid of the leg cable and I added my own little uh, skull and crossbone uh, decals for the legs, which looks great. Great bot mode, doesn't transform anymore. I don't really tend to do that nowadays though. Nowadays, I, I really do tend to keep the transformation. If anything, if there's kibble, like say, for example, uh, Siege Megatron, I got rid of the backpack for the tank mode, but you can totally still transform it. It's more of a parts former nowadays, you know, which I'm totally cool with. I'm totally cool with. But as long as I have a really good bot mode, that's what makes me happy. You know, that's what make, makes me happy. That's what I really like about the, the, the new one, the Rise of the Beast. Uh, version of Optimus. It looks really good in bot mode. Minimal kibble. Although, since I'm gonna eventually customize them, repaint them for Bumblebee version, I'm gonna get rid of like that um, oh god, what do you call it? That extra frame that he has in front of the bumper. You know, he's got the extra panels over the windows which I'm probably gonna shave down a bit to make them match as close as I can to Bumblebee movies. I don't know how successful I will be, though. That'll probably be down the road, you know. I'm working on a Constructicon right now, which is going to go well into 2025. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. I'm super excited. I think the, the figure that I'm most excited for right now, if I'm being honest, is Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime. That's the one that I can't wait to get, and I could totally see myself doing that one next. After I'm done with Minutes, or maybe even before I'm done. We can totally cut. He can totally cut. I'm Because uh, I'm going to not just do the uh, the bot himself, but also the trailer. You know, get everything. When I did um, Earthrise Optimus Prime, I didn't bother 
rip into the trailer because it felt like an afterthought. You know, there wasn't a lot to it. I, I decided to save my paint instead. You know, hobbies with the late 2026 repainted this is a deficit of part 200. You're not far off, dude. You're not far off. It takes me a while, right? Yeah. I hope the wait is worth it. I did. I did mention in a previous stream. One of the minor changes that I'm doing to YouTube. I'm not, I'm not going to be doing reviews anymore. Not going to be doing reviews anymore. I did a review for drag strip. It's out. It did. Okay. Numbers. But the, but the amount of work that, that I put into my reviews, the editing and whatnot, I think I'm going to stop for a little bit. I just focus on f a little bit more on the customizations to hopefully not make them last as long, you know? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll restart them again in the future. But for right now, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. I don't think anybody's really going to miss them. I think people, people will survive. <laughs> if anything, when I'm doing the outside-the-box videos... That's kind of like a quasi-review. It's like my initial thoughts on a figure, you know? The thing I like about my reviews, it's, it's more of a... A little bit more of an in-depth thought. A little bit more of an in-depth discussion of the of the figure. After I've had it for a while, I've thought about it for a bit. Your thoughts can change. Your feelings can change on, on, on a figure, you know? You can either like it more, you can hate it more. When you barely open it, you have your initial impressions. So, it's always a difference. Three copies. Oh, wow. Three copies of ROTB Prime. Original repainted Nemesis Prime. Oh, nice. And the knockoff Nemesis Prime. Hey, did you get the DNA design upgrade, upgrade kit? It almost seems to me like that kit is like essential because it adds the extra joints for the shoulders, you know, to make them a little bit more normal. Uh, quite a few improvements. It comes with that extra little figurine. I forgot the dude's name, but the guy that ends up having um, the exosuit from Mirage. Um, it's a really good kit. It, it, it looks like. I haven't had it in my hands just yet, but it looks like. I've heard good stuff about it, too. But it seems very much essential. Um, okay, what do we have going on here? Let's do a quick save. Oh, you did. For the original Prime. Got it. Got it. It's a bit pricey, though, huh? Isn't it, like, almost the same price as the figure itself? Man, DNA design. Get up there with the prices, you know? Okay, we have another one of those gacha machines. I'm definitely going to use it, see what we have here. Probably nothing new, though. Small tip for the I could uh, tighten the screws on the shoulders. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Definitely, dude. Thank you. Um, I think I might have it in a box already in my studio. I've got about five boxes ready to be uh, opened. But, you know, I always hold off for outside-the-box videos. Um, I might film... I think I'm going to film one next week. I think it's been a while. I think I'm going to film one next week. Although, the box that I'm going to open up a little bit spoilerish here. It's, it's got five little figures in it. So that might be the only thing that I'll put up. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but um, I did pre-order it from a Big Bad Toy Story. And I think it, it, it got sent to me via the uh, the pile of loot. So it's got that. Uh, the other Prime DNA kit that I got was the Gamer Edition. Prime, another good another good set. I think it adds, it adds stuff to like block up the back of the truck mode. Um, and an extra wheel look for, for bot mode too, just to complete the look. So I'm looking forward to opening up that one as well. Man, we are, we are living so good right now with Optimus Prime, right? We are living so good, man. I can't wait to have 86 Studio Series Optimus Prime. I can't wait to have their legacy G1 toy Optimus Prime. He looks so good. I dare say he might even look a little bit better than Missing Link. Optimus Prime, only because they made some adjustments to bot mode to kind of fix the proportions of the figure. The arms aren't as super long as they, as they are on the original toys. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Also, it won't go in smoothly. Sand the mushroom peg down a little bit. Okay, cool. Will do, dude. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much. I'm going to hold some of these here. There we go. Plop these in. Uh, 
Nothing new. Shock emitter, fan, portable pot, battery. Okay. All right. Oh. We got a like like. All right. Two like likes. Three like likes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 oh God. Oh no. I need to get close for them to open up and show me their uvula. I don't know what it's called. Optimus Prime Fan are eating real good. Hell yeah. Big Trump's going to get the 1,200th uh, remold of... <laughs> yeah, hopefully not for long though, right? Uh, we do have the expected 86 Megatron coming out next year. Which I've heard it's going to be a tank. I'm totally fine with. But supposedly it's not going to have um, kibble and bot mode. I'm looking forward to it. There were some pictures that uh, Gab posted in the Discord. I don't know if you saw them, BC. About a third party Megatron that's supposed to be Studio Series scale. Very much G1 in bot mode. Transforms into a, a, a Walther P38 gun. But the scale seems a little bit off. It's not quite as tall as Studio Series 86 Prime, sadly. And it's a little bit taller than Earthrise Prime. I think it's, I think it's like halfway... I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a little bit taller. It would have been perfect to go with SS86 Prime. So hopefully the one from Hasbro would look as good in bot mode. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. I bet after SS86 uh, Leader Class Megatron, we got a million repaints. Oh yeah, 100%, dude. I'm expecting a million, a million repaints of Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime. We're going to get the, uh, the black repaint mold. We're going to get the shattered glass. We're going to get them in white. We're going to get a whole bunch. And I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm not personally into that myself. I probably won't pick them up. But I'm sure there's a lot of fans that are, you know. Prime is the 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 one main figure for Transformers. Apart from Bumblebee, you know. <laughs> it's what we expect. Okay, so what are we doing here? What are we doing? We got to go in the water, huh? We got to go in the water? I see. I see. A little one. But now I get a good version of her. You mean for the TF1 movie version of a little one? She does look really good. She does look really, really good. I'm the type of collector, though, that I usually go either all in or I don't get any of them, you know? Um, I think after I watch the movie, I'll, I'll decide if I want to invest in the figures myself. I probably will. Let's be honest. I probably will. But I did end up selling my Rise of the Beast figure, so I want to be a little bit more cautious this time. But they do look great, man. Again, especially the Yolo Park model kit figures, they look stellar, dude. They look stellar. We're too close! I knew that was gonna happen. And I still did it! I still did it! Oh, God, I'm terrible. <laughs> In general, yeah. One of my favorite fanbots. Hey, have you been reading the... Uh, the Skybound Transformer series? I won't give you any spoilers. It is freaking stellar, dude. Freaking stellar. And if you're an, an, an Alita 1 fan, I think you should read it. I think you should read it. 
That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Issue 12 just came out this past Wednesday. And it finished up the second arc of the story. Uh, the writer, uh, Daniel Warren Johnson, knocking it out of the park, dude. So good. Such a good story, man. Wait if I can get a copy of it. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. They do have... Um, the collected edition is out for the first six issues. That's what I own myself. I bought issue one, and then I waited for the collected edition of the first six issues, the volume, volume one. Um, I, w I personally would rather collect them in volume because it's, it's easier to collect that way and to display them in my, in my bookshelf. But volume two probably won't be out for a couple of months. If anything, I recommend trying to find that if, if you're able to, you know? Go for this one. He's done. I see what the trick here is. Um, Oh, shit. I got knocked down, man. Shit. No! <laughs> oh, God. Damn it. Oh, he's eating good right now. These are tough because they're surrounded by water, man. Damn it! Alright, I got this one at least. Better give my shield back. No? Wait, is that a new weapon? Scimitar of the Seven? What the hell is that? So glad I, I finally found a better... Silver paint! Oh! What kind of silver paint did you get? From what name brand, if you don't mind me asking? Wait, what's yours? Excuse me? Oh, wait. Of the Seven. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Seven? I gotta borrow this. I know you understand. Thank you so much. Scimitar of the Seven. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wait. I thought it was the other weapon. Never mind. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh. Oh, God. Mr. Color Silver, okay. Instead of Tamiya's Titanium. Titanium Silver, um... It's not a bad silver. I hardly use it myself. I think it's a little bit light. A little bit lighter in color. They do have a Chrome Silver. It has a bit of a texture to it. Depends on the, on the look that you're going for. If I usually want like a really smooth looking kind of a silver, I usually go for... Uh, not Tamiya. Shit, forgot the name brand. But it's not an acrylic paint. It's an, 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 an enamel paint. 
I hardly ever use it. Mixing enamels with acrylics can be problematic at times. Testers silver. I use that sometimes. Sometimes. It's a good one. I might have to check into uh, Mr. Color, though. I hear I hear good stuff about it. It's not as, for some reason, here in the States, in the U.S., which I don't know where you're at, BC. I don't, I don't know if you're here in the U.S., but for me, it seems like in hobby shops that I go to, Mr. Color isn't really like a, a, readily, a readily available brand, you know? Um, I don't think I order it online, though. Need a Chrome Paint 7? Do you use an airbrush 7 or just a, like a brush? If you're using brush, I, I probably would recommend Tester's um, Acrylic Chrome Silver. Again, it has a little bit of a of a texture to it. It doesn't look bad. It looks good. But it, it's probably the uh, good one to use with a, with, with a brush. No, it, w it won't be Chrome Chrome. Nothing will ever be chrome chrome, to be honest with you. It'll look it'll look pretty shiny. Pretty shiny. I don't mind got you seven. I'll allow this. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, we gotta get this. Excuse me. There we go. Oh! I can't open this treasure. There we go. Yeah, Testers is as nice, is a smooth silver. Looks really good. But it's enamel. It's not. It's not acrylic paint. So you need. I would recommend you'd have to use an enamel thinner um, to get a good a good coating. You have to have good ventilation. Okay. Um, and I would have, I would probably even recommend like a, a good gas mask with it. Just be just be cautious. But it, it is a very good silver. Plus, if you're if you're using it on top of like together with a acrylic, you kind of have to be careful. Maybe do some test paints with it um some of the reactions might not be what, what you would want to uh there's not even close to being available here sadly why i don't own any uh, it sounds like you're not in the states I, th I think you're in europe you don't have to say if you don't want to it's fine but yeah it just depends on what region you're in right i think testers is fine for like enamel i'd love to try out mr hobby though oh or, or yeah mr hobby right mr hobby uh pa -pa 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 -pa. Mr. Color, Mr. Color. I know they like change up the names a little bit. The only Mr. Color uh, paint that I have, ironically enough, I built um, a Star Trek model ship years ago before I had my channel based off the Discovery TV show. Oh, uh, it was the USS Shen, Shenmue, Shen, Shenmue. And part of the deflector dish had a clear purple coating on it and the model kit didn't have that it was just a clear plastic testers or even um um tamia doesn't have a, a clear purple i actually tried mixing their clear red and their clear blue to try to get a uh, get a clear purple it didn't work you got a, like a clear muddy brown but mr hobby had a clear purple that i ended up getting but the thing about mr hobby you kind of had to get their Specific thinners, uh, testers enamel thinner didn't work for it, and a Tamiya acrylic thinner didn't work for it. I don't know what the hell was going on with it, but it was fine. I I, I love using it though. I still have it. I'm gonna use it on my Bavers 07 Megatron. That's why I would recommend two things. Seven other than a tester silver, maybe also look into a gunmetal color. Gunmetal is basically like a darker silver, and I love using it. I love using it. I think it's one of my top used colors ever. Gunmetal. Or, I'm sorry, no. Not exactly gunmetal. Gunmetal is more like a, towards like a black almost. Um, steel color. Actually both, yeah, it's both. Either a gunmetal or a steel color. Like a, like a bit of a darker colored uh, silver. I think it looks a heck of a lot better. Plus, it depends if you're priming your figures too. If you're priming maybe... 
um, consider using like a black primer. Silvers and gunmetals and steels look a heck of a lot better um, on a black primer as well too, you know. Sometimes I actually forget I customize a figure. When I, I look it up, I get shocked. You mean you, you mean you get surprised like how good it looks? <laughs> like you can't believe how good of a job you did? I get that feeling too sometimes, you know? Like, I'll look at an old one and be like, damn, I actually did this thing, huh? This shield is a 12-bit as a pass. We're not going to get this. At all. At all. Buddy boy! Alright, what are we doing? Forget how the original figure looking, I get shocked how I didn't pull it up out of the box like my custom. Yeah, I, I, I can totally see that. I can totally see that. Like, I, I look at my, my customs that I've made and like compared to like the originals, it's, it's hard. To, it's hard to imagine that sometimes, you know. What's up, my dude? What's up? Mr. Like Like, you like that? Nah, I don't think you do like that. I don't think you do like that. Alright, let's get this. Right on top of... Whoops. Nice. I uh, love the paint they use for just simple display, but I have a, two 2007 Megatrons. One is from the Anniversary Pack. Nice. Uh, the other is uh, the first release. Oh, okay. Want to mount the OG one. Better paint job. Uh, and hands I'm working on. The good thing about, I think, um, 07 Megatron from Bavers, it is primarily pretty much like a, like a silvery color, right? If anything, seven. What I would recommend, maybe do like a like a test paint on like a plastic. Get a get a couple of plastic spoons and test different silvers, silver and steel and gunmetal. I actually think gunmetal might be a little bit too dark for an 07 Megatron. I would probably go steel myself. I pr probably go steel myself. Silver might be a little bit too light unless. You do a black primer if you're able to. Steel with bronze accents. Yeah, bronze looks great. Um, Tester's bronze looks fantastic. Absolutely good. Uh, again, Tester's... No, wait, I'm sorry. I mean, Tamiya. Tamiya's bronze looks good. Tester's looks really good as well, though. It, it really pops. If you're going to go with like a tester st uh, steel or a silver, I would recommend sticking with Tester's for a bronze. On my Studio Series Bumblebee figure from the Bumblebee movie, the yellow parts, I use glossy Tamiya yellow. Looks good. But for the robot parts, I use Tester Steel, and it looks fantastic. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I, I thought it looked pretty good. Pretty good contrast between the two. A lot of weathering that I apply to it as well, too. Also, have a Megatron is pretty dirty. That's true. Yeah, uh, maybe you might need to weather. Uh huh. The silver, a little bit of rust. I would, I would definitely recommend that. Um, if we're gonna go all out, like what I would do, I would probably go tester steel, and I would probably do a Tamiya weathering um, panel liner, black on top of the steel, to get into all of the crevices, bring out all of those details. And then on top of that, I would I would use Tamiya's Weathering Master Rust Kit. It's it's literally a, a little kit. You've seen it on my channel. It's like makeup. It has like a makeup applicator. And you have the rust color. You can apply it on top, right? I would probably go with that route. The only tr tricky part, you don't want to go overboard with it. It's it can be easy to go overboard and add too much. You wanna you wanna do it lightly. You know? You wanna do it lightly. 
Uh, old wooden shield. That's a pass again. Don't eat that. Okay. Got some more goodies over here. Um, grab this. Nice. 50. Nope. Don't need it. Actually, you know what? Yep. I'm going to replace the one that I'm using right now. Replace it for a new one. That's using the old noggin. What do we have here? I do see that he has like a color. This color colorization. Going with when he's talking to Starscream. Color discolor. You mean like um I'm guessing you mean like some kind of weathering. Right? Or what do you mean by, by discolorization? Unless you want to make him look more dirty. I like having a dirtier figure. I like having a figure overall in my customs that's just like a little bit more realistic which is why i do the panel lining which is why i do the the dry brushing the silver highlights and why i do the uh the uh the actual weathering as well too like they just came out of a battle you know when metal gets too hot it starts turning purple really interesting i don't remember seeing that in the movies but Again, I haven't seen them in years myself. I'm almost wondering if it's almost like like depending on the type of lighting that they had for for certain shots, you know, it can make certain metals or certain colors look differently. Like a burn mark, possibly. Yep. Yeah. Frame by frame, no doubt, no doubt you're studying it. Hmm, interesting. If it's looking purple like it's really hot, there are ways to do that as well to recreate that. Again, with Tamiya's Weathering Master, they have different sets. I don't know if one is actually purple. But, like, say, worst case scenario, another method that I that I like to use. If there's a color that Tamiya Weathering Master doesn't offer, you can take, um, uh, like, a chalk set, which I have. I forgot what it's called. I forgot the name brand. It's like, it's like a, a chalk set for, 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 for drawing, basically. Shave off a little corner of chalk and use it as a dry as a as a weathering kit have a have the same applicator or a brush and apply it on there as well in layers little by little i've used it to pretty good effect you know takes a little bit of practice if you're going to customize something uh try to pictures of the oh yeah the cg model 100 percent accuracy that's true yeah because that'll have like the best kind of lighting too sometimes again Depending on the scene in a movie, it can have different kind of lighting. If it's like if it's like a dark scene, it can look different too. You know, here I'll I'll, I'll recreate that for you, cheesy. Don't don't worry here, dude. I have been going to the gym. Look at these guns! Holy shit! Look at these! Look at these guns! God damn! Woo! I don't have a halo though. Sorry, no halo. All right, let me let me put these away. I don't have a license for these guns yet. I have to conceal them right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right this this wine is is, is definitely getting to me we're at four hours and nine minutes uh we're gonna keep going here <laughs> we're gonna keep going here I, I i need to see the end of this thing. <laughs> oh my god all right this is the last bit of my wine though this is the last bit of my wine here we go hmm. oh all right that's it Nine o'clock for me here at uh, Pacific Standard Time. We got a big battery. Cool. I'm going to do an uppity here. Let's see what we got. We are done with this place here. Uh, take Babers Optimus Prime. Sometimes the blue, like a rail dark blue, sometimes it's like a normal. That's totally true. I think part of that also, it's, it's definitely a glossy blue because it's on the body of the truck vehicle it's itself right yeah it can be a bit tricky that's for sure 100 percent, 100 percent. oh we got some butterflies here let's get some butterflies we have another horny horn Woo! that fly that butterfly went flying dude oh that is so rude 
What did that other butterfly go? No! Oh. Well, they're gone. Never mind. So much for that. Uppity goo goo ga ga ga. I need to make a rotation here. Um. Oh, what happened? Wait, I can't rotate all the way? Bro. Okay, where are we going? We need to figure this out. I think that's where I came from. Ah. Battle trip from right to the beach. Sometimes it's orange. Like a burnt orange. Just an orange. Are you talking about like the the glowing effect from inside of his chest? It looked like a really cool effect, but I I, I see what you're talking about too. Somebody on the Discord I think added LEDs to their battle trap, which looked fantastic. Really cool effect. I think we have to keep going to the Dragon Head Island, right? <laughs> yeah, we have to keep going over here. Was there something up there that I missed? Scourge and Battle Trap. No? Oh, wait! I think you're right. Yes. Yes. Have I mentioned that I haven't really thought about the movie <laughs> all that much? Yeah, you're totally right, dude. I thought about Scourge. Scourge has that glowing effect. Um, What orange does Battle Trap have then? Is there like an orange striping on the vehicle? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I have to figure. Big question? Shoot! Oh, there's a track up there. We haven't been up there. We haven't been up there. Let's line it up. If anything, we can come back. We can float back from that island over, over here. So, all right. Let's head over there. Let's -a go. So I loved you one comic Megatron colors, right? I think it's pretty much the same except for the helmet. I think the helmet's like the black one, right? Better was the color color was orange. Was it? Hang on a second, BC. Hang on a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that is that is that is that for real? Is that for real? Oh yeah, right. You're right. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Um. Yes. And sometimes the orange can look a little bit different. Yes. Yes. I understand now. <laughs> How would I pull that color off in a glossy form? Oh, shit. Glossy form from when I get Bumblebee Movie Megatron. So you're trying to get Bumblebee Movie Megatron to look like G1 comic book Megatron? Is that right? Pull off that color. Pull that color off. Glossy form. Hmm. What what exact colors is G1 Megatron? Black helmet. The thing about comics though, Seven, what I recommend you look at is that sometimes sometimes comics use the color blue for black. Um I think what I would recommend is doing um Oh god, what's the what's the name of it? 
Hasbro has been coming out with comic book styled figures, right? Like we have comic book style SS86 Grimlock. Uh, we have comic book style Shockwave. Uh, they have they have those highlights. They have those highlights, right? Those streaks. I recommend utilizing something like that. Maybe on a on a blue with a with a black highlights, if that makes sense. Recommend not to use a glossy black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wouldn't use that. Especially if we're trying to get a comic book color. It absolutely eats the details away. True. Dark gunmetal is better. True. I would I would do a little bit of research, Seven, and see what uh, actual colors used for comic book Megatron look like. Um, candy? Black candy paint? So blue shows at certain angles wow that's getting into pretty advanced color technique so i'd have to i'd have to see an example of it to really visualize it black candy though i think is just mostly glossy black i'm thinking i'm thinking a blue possibly yeah a glossy blue with like the, those black highlights streaks painted there's a specific word for them that i'm it's not, it's not coming to me right now exactly, though. Hmm. It can take a bit of practice to get the look that you want specifically as well. Uh, nothing. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Um, a close example, um, saying, uh, uh symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Hasbro. Like black in certain angles, light shades of blue. Yes. I think you're hundred percent correct. Yeah. Yeah. Cause in comics, in comics, if something is black because you're using very basic colors, it's typically not going to be fully in black ink. Cause it's going to be like totally black, right? It's going to like envelop all of light. And so to contrast that, they'll use typically like blue highlights. You see that very much like in Superman. Superman has black hair, but they're not going to use just straight black for his hair. You're going to see blue blue highlights so I can still see like the hair lines on there as well. I think a close example. Uh, oh, I already read that one. Or dark shades of purple. That can work as well. I'm trying to visualize comic book G1 Megatron, though. I'm almost certain it had to use just, like, blue highlights. I think. Uh, you'd have to take a look at that. You'd have to take a look at that. No! I saw a question mark. Where is the big guy? Come here, big guy. We don't body shame here. I, I love the big guy. Forgot you when Mix has yellow. Oh, yeah, yellow eyes. Need to use uh, multiple coats of yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I forget that does the G1 toy of Megatron have yellow eyes? I know they weren't all typically red. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, it hasn't broken yet. Now it has. 
He is done. Fifty. I don't think we're gonna need it. High durability, though, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is my last meaty, cheesy cracker snack. Here we go. to now same island we came from yeah now we're gonna rotate some more and go in the other direction. Yep, right there. No, you're gonna miss it! Ah, oh, fudge. Wait for the next one. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Did you get that horn from? This was a special suit that we got. For this side quest. Uh, it's called... Charge Headdress. Yeah. It gives us special attack powers when it's a rainstorm. I have the whole set. I should probably equip the whole set. That's the entire suit right there. Look at that. We have a higher attack power during a thunderstorm. Which is cool. Really cool. I was saying that when I got it, if it was if this was like a Final Fantasy game, we would we would be like a summoner. Summoners in Final Fantasy tend to have like the horns. Looks really cool. Only where the OG links it. Well, different different suits seven, different suits give you different uh, abilities in this game. I do have some some OG suits here, tunic of hero, uh, tunic of time. They don't give you any extra special power-ups. They look nice. They, uh, they do look classic. Where'd you get a uh, missing... That one. That's part of this uh, side quest, though. Here, I'm gonna show you. The secret of the Ring Ruin side quest. When you're following the river... I'll show you the map. Um, Where is it? This river here. The... Dracozu River, when you're following this, this side quest, and, you, and in this river, there's there's little entrances along the river 
with a treasure chest that give you the parts of this suit. You probably missed them. Um, they have the little lights on them, and because of the rain, I think it was easily missable. But I got, but I got the set here. It's pretty cool. I like having it. So all along the Dracosa River, you'll find it there. Yeah. It's nice. <clears throat> Whoa, almost jumped off to my death there. Missing this one? You should still be able to get it. Even if you miss it on the on the side quest. You should be able to. Whoa, baby. We got some concrete slabs here. I wonder what we gotta make, huh? That and some rockets. Okay. We do have rockets here, right? Yeah. Okay. They're both over here. Uh, no. I don't think I want them at that angle exactly, game. There we go. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that's lopsided, dude. We can do better than that. Bro! Bro! You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Just get me over there, please. Woo! Okay. Treasure chest time, baby. Here. I'll pull it up for you right now. Cheese man. Uh, so I think it's a charged armor set. Charged shirt. Charged trousers. Charged headdress. It's the charged armor set. Yeah. Sure, it'll be too tough to get for you. All right, I guess we can just glide back down over there. Okay, and then... Um, yeah, exactly. That's the technical name. Goo Goo Gaga Charged Armor. You got it. You got it, dude. <laughs> Had to throw the hot dog. What? Hot dog stand at an enemy... Oh, what is stuff like? Oh, you talk about, you talk about Hulk, right? I'm not like, what the hell are you talking about? Throw the hot dog. Don't do that. Am I getting a little bit hungry? I think I'm getting a little bit hungry. <laughs> Ay. Uh oh. We have um. Shit. Oh crap. Bit of a problem here. How are we going to do this? Hmm. Oh boy. I want to get over there. Shit. Nothing around you except New York hot dog stand. I'm not going to lie. Hot dog sounds pretty good right now. Uh, the whole game. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I can make it from here, but 
We're going to give it a shot. Oh, yeah, we can. What's in there, huh? Damn it. What's up? Come on. <laughs> Wait. Hang on, Seven. Why does the automat always get you, huh? I'll allow it. Bye, Beast? Bye, Beast? Haven't heard of that. What's up, my dude? <laughs> I'm hunting automatons. No. No. Shit, how do we get out of here? Hello? Oh no. How do I... Okay, I think we're good. Is a classic whole thing... I've never heard of Bi-Beast. Never heard of him. No doubt they're a classic though. Shit, how do I get back? How do I get back? Do I keep going over there? Yeah, I keep going over there. Wait, can I even get up here, dude? Come on, buddy. You can do this. Shit! Damn it. Oof, that was close. What level are you? Four. I don't feel like messing with you guys, man. But throw rocks. Oh my god, did he ever fall off the side? He totally did. How embarrassing. Second by beast. Is that a bad thing? Is that a bad thing, huh? Alright, we're inching closer towards the end here. I guess we're going over here. Whoa, are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. let's just save real quick. This game's bosses don't really have ads. You gotta fight. Ads? I wouldn't expect an ad in a PS2 game. Woo! Look at that. I didn't even need to use my glider. over here what the hell bro oh no what is this 
Oh yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Let's save again. Oh, a game terminology. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I mean, I, I hear ads. I think of a certain thing, right? Enemies the boss summons to slow you down. Got it. Got it. Okay. Doesn't make sense, but okay. All right. There it is, dude. Look at that. We got it, baby. It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a PS2 game. What are you going to expect, you know? Is this a gimme? Please be a gimme. It's not going to be a gimme. We're going to be buck-ass naked again, aren't we? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, it's a gimme. Hey! What's up? I'll take it. This is our shrine number three of the evening. Uh, we're definitely not going to get a fourth. There we go. Hell yeah. Is this the end of this? That's the only shrine we've come across here on these sky islands, right? I think. I think we're gonna have to do an uppity somewhere around here. Oh wait, we have this these vines to take care of. Not with this weapon. Um I think I'm this one here. Yo, what's that? Interesting. Favorite boss for the Enclave in this game has to be the Kylopes? Hmm. Giant robots. Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything for her now. Ooh, ooh. Another quick save here. The music is different right here. Oh shit. I should have more than enough. <laughs> Secret of the Ring Ruins. You open the door on Dragonhead Island. Inside, you discovered what happens to be a Zonai relic on a pedestal in the center of the chamber. Huh? 
Interesting. Don't be a boss. Okay. Zelda's chosen protector. Take this. Follow the light. Whoa. Okay. Guidance from Aegis Past. Okay. You found a strange relic on Dragonhead Island that emitted a narrow beam of light. The beam appears to extend straight down to the surface. When you touch the relic, a mysterious voice said to take it and follow the light. Interesting. Well, there you go. Let's check out this doodad here. Steering stick, okay. Okay, got a couple of rockets here. enough. You better keep your eyes open. Oh, sounds good, Seven. Hope you have a good night. Rest easy. I'll be on tomorrow if you want to join. Thanks for being here, though. Have a good night. My eyes are getting a little bit sleepy as well. I'll probably be calling it pretty soon. I want to see the end of what we have going on here, though. <laughs> Definitely. Will do. <laughs> we'll do a save in here, okay. This is going to be crazy, I think. Okay. Oakley dokely. Where are we heading, huh? Tobio's Hollow. 
probably right in here. Gotta keep going down. We're about to go in for a rough landing here. Watch out, folks. Ah, shit. Fuck. We're good. We're good. Hey, that's not too bad. There we go. That's good. Good stuff. Have I been here before? Let me save first. Oh boy. Ooh. This looks familiar. The relics light guided you to a hidden path that led underground. From there, the relics started emitting the beam again, leading you down the path. Tobios Hollow Chasm. Chasm? As in go into the upside down chasm? This doesn't seem like that. Kind of. Oh shit, it is a chasm. Nope. Are we going to go into the down under? I think we are. It's going to lead us down under. It's totally going to lead us down under, dude. What the hell? Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. Whoa. Well, look at that. Have we activated this light suit? I see another one in the distance over there. Oh, shit. When you placed the relic on the pedestal in the underground chamber, a path opened into the depths. The mysterious voice spoke again, saying, you must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. When you arrived in a vast space within the depths, the relic began to emit another beam to guide you towards the ruins. I, I have we we oh we have this opened up yeah, we have that opened up, we have this one here. Oh, that was the one from earlier today, that we couldn't quite get to. That's our last location here. Construct Factory, okay. Interesting.
Oh, we've been here, dude. That looks familiar. We saw it a while back. Yeah. We're going to attach this thing on there. You like the robot? Oh, I have to do this. Uh. There we go. There's other pieces missing, clearly. Four more pieces missing. Hmm. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. My name is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form, we cannot yet speak face to face. But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. Okay. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. Nice. Okay. We're going to save here. All right, that's where we are going to call it for tonight. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to definitely continue this tomorrow. We're going to hopefully get Minoru's body up and running and talk to her face to face. Are we going to beat the game tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know how much longer. I wasn't expecting this whole main quest with like little sub quests within it it might still take some doing i think but thank you all so much for joining me tonight i appreciate you all i will catch you all tomorrow at 5 p.m pacific standard time so hopefully you can catch me there as well if you're seeing me over on youtube on the vod's at hobbies with jose gaming thank you by the way feel free to hit the like and subscribe i appreciate you very much as well thank you and I will see you all mañana. Have a good one. Adios.